Bulldogs, is to love you boys. Please beat North next year. Number two, Kay Sanderson. Number two, Dylan Sidwell, being escorted tonight by his father, Dre, mother, Tiffany, and sister, Tamiya. Dylan has played Bulldog football for three years as a corner. Dylan's favorite high school football memory is playing in the snow during playoffs last year. His future plans are to attend college and earn an electrical engineering degree. Dylan would like to thank all his coaches and parents that helped him grow throughout his high school career. Dylan, Dylan's words of wisdom to current football, current and future <laughs> Bulldogs, dominate the details and do your job, and then it should be all right. Number two, Dylan did well. Number three, Hudson Robinson. Is being escorted tonight by his mom, Carrie, and dad, Todd, and sister, Sydney. Hudson has played football for three years as a tight end. His favorite football memory is getting a comeback win in the fourth quarter against Deer Creek this year. Hudson's future plans are to study fire protection, safety, engineering, technology at Oklahoma State. Hudson would like to thank God, his family, his friends, and all of his coaches for supporting him through his high school career. His words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs are to cherish every moment of high school football, no matter what you are doing. Uh, number three, Hudson Robinson. Number four, Levi Pett. Levi's being escorted by his mom, Rebecca, dad, Ty, and brothers, Landon, Ladd, and Lincoln. Levi's played Bulldog football for two years as a wide receiver and tight end. Levi's favorite high school football memory is beating North at home junior year. His future plans include studying mechanical engineering at OSU. Levi would like to thank God, his parents, and his brothers for the constant support. He'd also like to thank his coaches for all their encouragement. His words of wisdom to the current and future Bulldogs is to keep up the good work and don't take a day off. Number 14, Levi Pett. Number nine, Draylon Nero. Draylon Nero is being escorted by his dad, uh, Andre, and mom, Bridget Rains, and his sisters, Dre Gibson, and Kevon Nero, and Kaylee. Draylon has played football for one year as a linebacker. His favorite high school football memory is fellowshipping with the team and hanging out with the guys, winning games, and making stats. Draylon is planning to attend college and get a degree. He would like to thank everyone that he played that played a role with him being able to, to, to participate in sports, especially mom and dad. Draylon's words of wisdom to current future Bulldogs are to always trust the process regardless of how hard it may seem. Number nine, Draylon Hero. Number 11, Vincent Mitchell. Vincent is being escorted tonight by his guardian, Tom and Jenny Coates, and his grandparents, Michael and Renee Mitchell. Vincent has played football for four years as a team captain and plays safety. His favorite high school football memory is being Edmond City Champs junior year. Vincent plans to attend ODU and study sports medicine. We would like to thank EMHS football staff for all the love and support, and thank you for turning this program around and giving me the best last year of football uh, he will ever play. His words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs is to try hard and work hard in everything you do, and you will succeed. Number 11, Vincent Mitchell. Number 15, Carter Moore is being escorted by his mother, Katie, father, Matt, and sister, Campbell. Carter has played football for four years as a tight end and as a team captain. Carter's favorite high school football memory is rushing the field junior year after beating North. His future plans are to attend Oklahoma State University for aerospace mechanical engineering. Carter would like to thank God, his family, friends, and all his coaches for four great years of playing football here at Memorial. His words of wisdom for current and future Bulldogs are to cherish every last moment you have with your teammates. Number 15, Carter Moore. Number 18, Carson Evans. Carson is being escorted by his dad, Brad, mom, Tara, sister, Kayla, and Anna, Patty. Carson has played Bulldog football for four years as a linebacker and as a team captain. His favorite high school football memory is beating North last year. Carson's future plans are to play college football. Carson would like to thank Coach Thomas and his staff for turning this program around and thank you to his parents for supporting him and showing up at every game. He'd also like to thank Marcus Allstaff. His words of wisdom for current and future Bulldogs or to make high school fun and enjoy your friends and family while it lasts. Number 18, Carson Evans. Number 19, Max Thomas. He's being escorted by his brother, Melissa Thomas, brother Andre Woods, and sister, Layla Thomas. Max has played football for the last four years as a defensive tackle. His favorite high school football memory is beating North last year and watching Coach Thomas dance. Max's plans to attend Oklahoma Christian University and major in business administration. Max would also like to thank his amazing family for always supporting him. He'd also like to thank his coaches for pushing him past his limits and encouraging him to be the best version of himself every day. Max's words of wisdom to the current and future Bulldogs is, I love you guys, 
continue to build the great culture that we have started. Number 19, Max Thomas. Number 23, Elijah McBride. Elijah is being escorted by his mom, Heather. Elijah has played Bulldog football for the last two years as linebacker. His favorite high school memory is the two huge hits on kickoffs against North last year. Elijah would like to thank his mom for always supporting him, all his coaches for, and all of his coaches for accepting him. His words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs are to never give up. Number 23, Elijah McBride. Number 28, Isaiah Spotwood is being escorted by his mom, Angela Perkins, and brother, Keishon Spotwood. Isaiah has played on the D-line for the past four years and he's played for the Bulldogs. His favorite high school memory is getting to go to the senior paintball trip. Isaiah plans to go to college and, make, and just make it from there. He would like to thank his family and coaches for everything they do for him. Uh, Isaiah's words of wisdom for current and future Bulldogs is to never give up. Number 28, Isaiah Spotwood. Number 37, Nicholas Allen is being escorted by his mother, Adriana Arazo, father, Daniel Allen, and sister, Juliana Allen, and brother, Brian Allen. Nico has played uh, football for the past three years as kicker. His favorite high school football memory is a senior paintball trip. Nico plans to attend OU with a major in history. He would like to thank his parents for supporting him and believing in him. Nico's words of wisdom to current future, future Bulldogs is your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one by Chris Fumo. Number 37, Nico out. 38, Trey Williams is being escorted by Dad Randall, Mom, Lisa, Brother Nate. Trey has played defensive end for the Bulldogs for the last two years. His favorite high school football memory is the senior paintball trip. Trey plans to attend OU. We'd like to thank his mom, dad, and brother for supporting him. And Trey for driving him with words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs. But y'all got it. Number 38, Trey Williams. Number 44, Destin Mack. Destin Mack is being escorted by his mother, Stacy, and brother, Jamie. Destin has played defensive end and linebacker for the Bulldogs for the past three years. His favorite high school football memory was beating Ian in his sophomore year. Destin's future plans are to pursue a blue-collar career. He would like to thank all the coaches for showing him that football is more than a game. Number 44, Destin Mack. Number 54, Jack Mowen is being escorted tonight by his mother, Stephanie, father, Lance, and sister, Ashley Jenkins. Jack has played left tackle during the past two years for the Bulldogs. His favorite high school football memory is traveling to Big Beat for spring ball. Jack plans to attend University of Oklahoma and study business. We would like to thank his coaches and teammates for the skills he has learned. Jack's words of wisdom for current and future Bulldogs is don't let anything get in the way of your wisdom. Number 54, Jack Mowen. Number 63, R.J. Webster, being escorted tonight by his mother, Ellie, father, Jeremiah, and sister, Desiree. R.J. has played left guard for the Bulldogs for the past four years. His favorite high school football memory is singing the national anthem with his teammates when the power went out last year. R.J. plans to attend trade school to learn a trade and go to work. He will like to thank Coach McCall for making the O-line fun. R.J.'s words of wisdom for current future Bulldogs. To the juniors, enjoy every moment of your senior year. It goes by way too quick. Number 63, R.J. Webster. Number 75, Aaron Gillespie. To be escorted by his mom, Sandy. Aaron has played on the defensive line for one year. His favorite football memory is the senior paintball trip. Aaron plans to attend OU after high school. He'd like to thank his family for supporting him. Aaron's words of wisdom for current future Bulldogs is to live every moment to the, fur to the fullest. Number 75, Aaron Gillespie. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2024 senior class. Last but not least is number 77, Braylon Mitchell. Braylon tonight is being escorted by his family. His words of wisdom for the Bulldogs is to work hard and never give up. Number 77, Braylon Mitchell.
Number 89, Colin McClendon. Colin McClendon is being escorted tonight by his parents and his favorite words of wisdom for future Bulldogs is to live hard, play hard, and win at all times. Number 89, Colin McClendon. Trainer Lily Sarkoxy is being escorted by her parents. He's being escorted by her father, OJ, stepmom, Kristen, stepbrother, Trevor, and sisters, Lila and Ruby. Lily has been an athletic trainer for the Bulldogs for the past three years. Her favorite high school memory is when a player was cramping and she had to run to the concession stand to get pickle juice. They gave her a bowl jar with no lid, so running back to the field, she spills it all over herself running through the crowd. Lily plans on going to the Air Force to be a trauma doctor. She would like to say thank you for whoever put her in this class without her knowledge, because without her, she wouldn't have found her passion. If without that, she wouldn't have found her passion in life. Lily's words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs is to never change your goals. Instead, change the plan if needed. Trainer Lily Sarkoxy. I'd like to introduce trainer Ben Fuller. Ben Fuller is being escorted by his dad, Billy, mom, Angie, brother, Nathan, and sister, uh, Aaliyah. Ben has been an athletic trainer for the Bulldogs for the past three years. His favorite high school football memory is all of them. He's loved every single minute. Ben plans to attend college and major in sports management coaching. He, he thanks the coaching staff and Jeremy for putting up with him for three years. Ben's words of wisdom to current and future Bulldogs is don't be afraid to try something new. You just might love it. Trainer, Ben Fuller. Manager, Elena Wood, is being escorted by her mom, Michelle Bingham. Elena's been a manager for the Bulldogs for the past two years. Her favorite high school football memory is winning city champs last year. Elena plans to join the Navy after high school and become a medic. She would like to thank Coach Warren and Coach Thomas the two best coaches. Elena's words of wisdom to current future Bulldogs is to never give up, manager Elena Wood. We start out west, the first of two 6A1 matchups this week featuring teams undefeated in district play, Union visiting Edmund Santa Fe. These Wolves are for real, folks. And here we go, this game is underway. Picked up the seven yard line for Union. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He has a break, there he goes. He's going to go all the way, returning the touchdown all the way from the seven-yard line. How about that? Boston Carrasco, 5'11", 175, 70-pound junior, returns the opening kickoff. Touchdown, Union! From the 49 Union, handoff up the middle and pushed out, pulled back there, and no gain on the play, maybe a loss a yard on the play. Delgado makes, looks, throws deep, and bringing a pass down, caught complete, and it is going to be a first down. Nicely done by Brendan McQueen, number two, the 6'4", 180-pound senior. Makes the catch. Nice deep ball again by Casey Delgado. Emerson Kiker. 26 yards away. Kiker. Kick is up. Kick is good. We've played two quarters of football. We're dead even still. It's 10-10. He didn't hurt nothing. 
You gave it to him. You said, here, go. Because we didn't do our job. We didn't stomp the gas. We didn't hit it as hard as we could. Our pad level's not down. We're not even trying to stay in our gas half the time. We're looking. What's going to happen? Let somebody else make a play. Somebody's got to spark it up right now. Most important series is right. Bring it down. Here we go. Danny Newton, the quarterback. He's handed to Robinson. Robinson trying to get outside. He's going to be snowed under. He didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Great job there. Number 21 coming to him. He'll, he'll kick it away. Oh, the rush is on. Block. Picked up at the 10 into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. Block, punt, and then the pick up and scoop and score. Wow, do they need that one. How about that? We started the first half with a yeah. kickoff return. 93 yard touchdown kickoff return. Now we start the second. With a block punt, a scoop and score, and an extra point is up. And the kick is good. Hand off, not going to get there. Wow, nope. pull down. Great job. Number 11, Ashton Fowler. How about that? 5'11, 170 pound senior, made some big plays so far. Hands off to Robinson. Robinson's not hitting the dusty cross that's behind the scrimmage. Push back. Maybe got a yard, that's about it. Hands off, coming down the middle, 40, 35, makes one tackle, 30, makes another tackle, 25, still on his feet, the 20, trying to grab, hold, hold him down, they pull him down to the 11-yard line. Oh, what a run by number 21, the senior. Snap, hand off, Isaac Covington's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa Union, a yard out, soup to the left side, good. Blocking on the left side, sealed it off into the end zone with Covington. Touchdown, and that could be the backbreaker right there, wow. Finally, the offense gets an offensive touchdown. Newton takes the handoff, looks to throw, and it is intercepted. Picked up by Isaac Covington, number 21, at the 46-yard line. And Union takes over. The defense stands up and makes a big play, Coach Foyle. Now puts the man in motion. Makes the motion man, throws on the middle. Wide open in the play at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, into the end zone. There is Geno Boyd for the touchdown. From 43 yards out, a 43-yard touchdown strike from the freshman, Casey Delgado. To the senior, Gino Boyd. And coach, I know the two offensive touchdowns in the fourth quarter put this one away. Union 31, Evan Santa Fe. Ken, coach, I know coaches love to talk about a complete team victory. This truly was. How sweet it is, okay? You know what they say, right? Huh? Yeah, thank you, they, right? Huh? Hey, and another one. Another one. Sister and uh, father Nathan Gay, mother Elizabeth Heil Gay, and sister Olivia Gay. After graduation, Natalie plans to attend OSU's Honor College. She will be majoring in psychology and minoring in design. She also plans to continue to, to pursue color guard in college and all the encouragement, possibly majoring in clinical psychology. Caleb Hank Cannon. Caleb Hank. Her parents, is being asked by parents, Jared and Cammy Hannon. Brothers, Noah, Levi, and Jesse Hannon. He's going to attend Oklahoma State University and major in computer engineering. Taylor Higgins is being escorted by Justin Higgins and Amanda Everett, her parents. She's attending the University of Arkansas, planning on majoring in biology. Jackson Hines is escorted by parents, David and Jennifer Hines, and sister, Elizabeth Hines. She's going to attend, going to attend OSU and currently undecided. Elizabeth Hines is also escorted by her parents, David and Jennifer Hines, brother Jackson Hines, going to college and going to make her in pre-med. Simon Alba is being escorted, escorted by parents Julie and Matt. Plans on attending the University of Arkansas and majoring in architecture and music. Lucas Howe is escorted by parents, Ruzan and Buddy Howe. He plans on going to UCO and majoring in music education. Ian Humphrey 
They've been escorted by Caroline and Mark Humphrey, mom and dad. Plans on going to college, where undecided for the for his major, it's going to be something involving engineering or STEM, whatever Mr. George said. Elise Jansen. Parents Ames, Stephanie, and Reed Jansen, her brother. She's going to college somewhere. She's going to get a degree in art, education major, and a minor in music. Gay Ruckerberg is being escorted by parents, Nick and Christy, siblings Cole, Sam, Abby, and Nate Riley. College, he's going to go, currently undecided. His major will be pre-med and a science. Matthew Merrick. Parent is being escorted by parents Mandy, Michael, and KK, his sister. He is currently wavering between UCO, OSU, and WSU, going to receive a degree in nursing. Katie McCook is being escorted by family Matt, Alyssa, and Jackson. He plans on going to Oklahoma Christian University and being in the orchestra and the choir. Major currently undecided. Isabella Meyer. He's being escorted by grandparents, Willard and Marcia Barnett, going to the University of Arkansas, getting a degree in architecture. Will O'Neill. He's being escorted by Michael and Becky O'Neill. Will is going to finish auto tech at Francis Tuttle, Tuttle and, and then, then going into the workforce. Mason Pedro. He's being escorted by... Tonight, Tim, on his final Friday of October, brother, Union Redhawks play its second straight game on the west side of Oklahoma in the Oklahoma City suburb of Edmond. They look to clinch its 33rd district championship against the Edmund Memorial Bulldogs. Union comes in tonight's final road game of the regular 2023 prep season, ranked number two in Class 6A1, a 7-1 record and a perfect 4-0 mark in district play. The Royal Bulldogs are 3-5, and, and they're 1-4 in, in this district. And hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Lincoln doing your play-by-play -play tonight for Rick Corey, the voice of the Red Hawks down in Dallas, Texas. Can we have the Golden Hurricane for their kickoff tomorrow at 11 o'clock? against the SMU Mustangs. We're going to be tonight our usual Union Sports Network crew, Coach Tom Stockton, writing his analysis. A silent reporter in the cold down there is Jeff Johns. Here in the booth, handling stats and technical support, Richard Johns, our Union Sports TV director, is Andy Irwin. Well, Coach, the district title, that first round playoff by, is always the first goal of the season. You need a victory away tonight from accomplishing that big goal. Yes, and Union has won 22 straight district games since a loss to Owasso way back in September 25th, 2000. A 2023 district championship would be Tulsa Union's 19th since 2000 as the dominant team in 6A1 District 2. And Coach, they'll have to do it for a third straight game without its star junior quarterback, Shaker Rysick. Heard his non-throwing arm on October 6th, late in that 65-0 homecoming win over Norman High. Now, Shaker in his four games this season, though, it's known for 1,760 yards, completing 80% of his passes. Quarterback rating of 142. He's accounted for 25 touchdowns, 21 of them passing. 250 yards per game average, rated one of the nation's top junior quarterbacks. Already has a number of scholarship offers, including those from major D1 schools like Oklahoma State and Missouri. Red Hawks are again, though, led by their ninth grader, two freshman, number 10, Kaysen Delgado. Six foot, 160 pounds, actually moved into the Union School District from Edmond last year. Led the team to a 46-7 victory on Mustang. Last week, the 31-10 road win at Edmond Santa Fe. And Coach, last week's victory, you coaches always like to say, is a total team win. It was in all three phases, offense, defense, and started with the special teams. And it started last week when Boston Carrasco returned the opening kickoff 93 yards for a touchdown. It was just 10 to 10 at half, 10 to 10 at half, and Edmond Santa Fe, after Union had penalties that wiped out Delgado touchdown passes of 65 and 50 yards to Geno Boyd. Union took over in the second half, outscoring Santa Fe 21 to nothing, starting with another special teams play on a block punt that Braylon Danzi returned seven yards for a score that put Union up 17 to 10. Delgado hit Boyd on a 43 yard scoring pass and on, and on the night, the true freshman was 10 for eight for 133 yards while junior running back Jordan Schilling carried 26 times for 123 yards, and senior Isaac Kevington had 62 yards on just five carries. And it was Kevington, our player of the game versus Santa Fe, who led the defense with 12 solo tackles from his safety position, including two tackles, in a, two tackles for losses and a pass interception. 
And congratulations to Union senior cornerback Devin Jordan, who committed this past week to OU. He picked the Sooners over OSU, TCU, Texas A&M, and Alabama. On the season, Jordan has 21 solo tackles, a 100-yard pass interception for a touchdown, averages over 31 yards on kickoff returns, and has a 42-yard run on a fake punt. He also made this week's Barry Lewis All-World Tulsa Mitchell Players uh, Top 10 Players. Well, let's go down to the field now and catch up with Jeff Johns. He had a pregame chat with the head coach of the Red Hawks, Kirk Frederick. Trip down here this way last week. Here we are just right down the road. How are we feeling tonight going into this uh, matchup with Ed Memorial? Yeah, we're excited about, you know, for us being in a new place. It's a nice stadium. Hadn't played here before. And uh, Edmond's done a nice job getting their school districts with stadiums. That's a really good one. And looking forward to playing against a good football team. Obviously, they had a, a good matchup last week against Owasso. Um, what kind of lessons can you learn watching those game film? And, and uh, this team came back really well against a good Owasso team. Yeah, they have all year. They've been really close in a couple of games. And uh, the quarterback's outstanding. The skill kids are, are, are really good. I know they've got quite a few guys that play basketball as well. they got those guys playing receivers. So athletic. Um, Play tough, but everything goes through the quarterback for sure, and uh, he's outstanding. Threw for 400 yards earlier this year, and and um, uh, he's as advertised. So we'll definitely have to play extended plays defensively. You know, there there's a lot of plays that go six, seven seconds long, and so you've got to stay with your receivers during that during that long time of that play. Well, I know a lot of what what we do here at Union is about discipline and staying focused and staying with your man. What kind of week has it been like in practice, and, and has that been able to be reinforced? Yeah, we've had a really good week of practice, and uh, uh, excited about uh, excited about the way we're improving each and every week. And um, again, we're, we want to build on what we did last week. We want to be you know playoff ready when it gets here. Lastly, just about Lane Wood not being in play this week. Who do you look to to stand up when he's not in there for the defense? Yeah, we've got a good group of linebackers. Uh, you know, Tucker Cooks played quite a bit this uh, this year, and, and he'll step into that role. And uh, he's had a good week. You don't you don't replace a, a team leader like Lane and some of the things that he's done. But uh, I think as a whole, that group, that that position group, will do fine tonight. Well, good luck tonight, Coach. And we'll look forward to talking to you afterwards. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Jeff. Tom uh, talked about the Edwin Royal quarterback, number sixteen, David McComb, six three, two fifteen, already committed to the University of Kansas, and. Uh, our offensive corner kind of gave us a little uh, scouting report on him, and uh, sounds like the guy's an impressive football player. Yeah, he is supposed to have a very strong arm, throws, you know, all the throws, very fast, line, line speed, elusive runner. He threw 58 passes last <laughs> week in a 49-42 to 42 loss wow. to Owasso. So the real deal, again, he's a University of Kansas commit as a junior. The receivers are led by a guy named Syrian Padula. He does it all. He's a... A wide receiver also plays safety for them and holds on the <laughs> extra points and field goals, too. They're looking player, they say. Oh, he's, from watching him, he's one of the best I've seen, and, that, and that's what they have. That's what they tell you when uh, we went to talk to him, that he's one of the better players. Their lines, though, Coach, uh, both sides, offensive and defensive, that are a bit undersized for 6A football. Yeah, and they're all juniors, but, yeah, it, it's the smallest offensive, li- offensive line that, that we have faced this year. Senior night here at uh, Edmund Memorial. They'll play their final road game uh, next week at Mustang to close out the regular season. While for Tulsa Union, of course, they'll return home for senior night on Thursday of next week. They'll host the other Edmund team. We've had the Edmund run here the last three weeks. Edmund Santa Fe tonight in Memorial. Next Thursday, November 2nd, Edmund North, 7.05 at Tuttle Stadium. Then uh, earning a bye with the district championship. They'd be off on November 10th and come back to play November 17th the state quarterfinal game hosted by Union Tuttle Stadium there. Our officials for tonight, the referee assigned by the OSS AA, Michael Stevenson. The umpire is Mark Williams. Headlinesman, Eric Jamison. Jamie Montgomery, the line judge. The back judge is Devakin Edwards. But again, Michael Stevenson heads up this crew. Senior night, I think they introduced everybody, didn't they, Coach? <laughs> I think so. Every, maybe every senior in the senior class at school. I'm not sure. I think so. They had all the guys out there from the football team. Then the band was out there and the cheerleaders. So they all got good recognition for long careers at Ed Memorial. 
By the way, the Edward Memorial, great history here. In the beginning, they said it was just a lonely stop in Indian Territory. No trees, no streets, no buildings. The school originally named Edmond High School. It's only the secondary school within the city limits. The first class graduated from Edmond High School in 1922, consisted of 24 students. As Edmond grew, the school changed location seven times, moving to its current spot here on 15th Street in Edmond in the mid-1960s. In 1975, the name of the school was changed to Edmond Memorial High School. In 1994, the school split, uh, the school split into three. Now rival schools include Edmond North High School and Edmond Santa Fe High School. They said last year they, two of their wins was against the North and the Santa Fe. They called it, of course, the Edlam Bowl. Edlam. Not All Bedlam, right. but Edlam Bowl. So uh, it's a school that is, uh, has a long, rich history. But, uh, Coach, not so much in football. They have uh, struggled through the years here and uh, uh, been kind of tough on them out here. Yeah. You know, 2022, 4-7, and seven, 21, they were 1-9 in 2020, 1-10, 2019, 1-9, 2018, 2-8, 2017, 2-7, 2016, 5-5, five and, five, and 2015, 4-6. So, no, they haven't exactly, you know, been on long winning streaks. Captains, as they turn half the lights out in the stadium for some reason, meeting at the center of the field with our referee, Michael Stevenson. Watch for the coin toss here, Coach, and see where we're going here. Tulsa Union in their road white jerseys. Appreciate the black numbers on them. Black helmets with the U, which you can't see on the black helmet, but it's there, I'm sure. Ed Memorial in their home maroon. Maroon helmets, white pants, maroon, maroon stripe down the side. As they come into this game, three and five, one and four in district play, while Tulsa Union is again seven and one and a perfect five and zero oh in the six A one two district. You see the Memorial students have formed a big line to get their team on the field. And they're jumping around on these guys down there without any shirts on, which I guess that was a good time to tell you the weather is 54 degrees, wind north northeast at 10 miles per hour. Union has won the toss and yeah. deferred. And deferred. Thank you, Coach. So we'll have Union kicking off. David Moyle, we'll see that uh, star quarterback there, David McComb, right at the start of this. Waiting for both teams to come on the field right now. <laughs> and the lights are going back on. Yeah, what was that all about, Coach? I hope that was planned, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Very nice. <coughs> Beautiful night for football, and uh, they're very proud of this uh, stadium. This is the newest stadium of the Edmund, three Edmund schools. Here come the Union Red Hawks with a big U on the far end zone there. As they come out on the field here, again in their white road uniforms, red pants, black helmets, the Union U on the side. And waiting for the arrival of the Bulldogs now. Edward Moyle starting on offense will be David McCombs, the quarterback, 6'3", 215 junior. The kid we talked about is a KU commit already. And here come the Bulldogs on the field. Sirian Padula, number one, is their 6'3", 190-pound tight split in. He also plays in the secondary as a free safety. The receivers include Levi Peck, Billy McDowell, Hudson Robinson, and the Number one back for them is Nick Booker, along with Riley Baptiste. But the guy that makes it all go is their junior quarterback, David McComb. Tulsa Union, defensively, be led by, again, the guy who was a star last week. Coach, boy, what a game Isaac Covington had, huh? Oh, awesome game. And, uh, you know, he's had several good games, but that one was just over the top. The one injury report to talk about, inside linebacker Lane Wood won't play tonight, right? No, and he'll be replaced by Tucker Cook. Just a sophomore. Lane Wood, of course, one of the outstanding uh, uh, defensive players. Usually leads him in tackles, has seven interceptions on the way. Look at that full moon here over Edmond, Oklahoma. Looking right straight across from us here in the press box and our vantage point here. Andy Irwin showing a little Director 
magic there for us. Nicely done, gang. Big bulldog in the center of the field. That is a massive bulldog. Yeah, Holy that's cow. huge. <laughs> And it's growling. Yeah, it does. Here comes the Union kickoff team there. Emerson Kiker is the guy who's been doing the kickoff, and he'll be handling it again tonight here. Edwin Royal has two guys deep. One of the usual return guys, they say, is uh, not going to be able to go. Uh, Gage McCann Massey is out tonight. So Cade Sanderson is over on one side. Billy, Mc, five, Billy McDowell Billy on the other side. They wait to kick off. Kicking off for Tulsa is 84. And we're underway here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Taken at about the 10 yard line. 15, 20, 25. And spun down about the 28 yard line. Really good hit there. Really good hit by number 34. Let's see, Cyrus Burns. Really good. Billy McDowell was the man who ran it back for the Bulldogs. They'll start first and 10. Edmund Moyle at their own 30, uh, excuse me, 29 yard line. Send with two receivers out to the right side. Backfield by the kids tall, 6'3, 215. Dave McComb in the shotgun, waiting to take the snap, takes it, rolls off to the right side. Going to keep it. 30, 35, out of bounds there. He does have some speed, doesn't he, Coach? Yes, he does. Run out of bounds over there by J.T. Frederick, but he was kind of run out of bounds. J.T. didn't even have to hit him. Picked up six. Be second and four for the Bulldogs. Now at their own 35-yard line. Nick Booker in the backfield alongside quarterback David McComb. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. McComb hands out to Booker, caught in the backfield, breaks one tackle, comes across the 35, is close to a first down. That was Nick Booker, the sophomore running back, picked up three, on the third and one. Look at the tackle was there again by Tucker Cook. He's replacing, again, Lane Wood, the usual inside linebacker tonight. Going for it on a third and one. Going to try that tush push, you think? Doesn't look very good. It kind of runs off to the side, but they got the first down. Accomplished what they needed to. Got it to the 40-yard line. First and 10. So Moyle gets her, converts on their first series. Gets a first down at their own 40-yard line. Just underway here. 54-degree football weather in Edmond, Oklahoma. Well, they broke the huddle and called him back in. Conversation here. Sarian Padula, their outstanding six foot three split in, goes off to the right side. Two other receivers come to the left. They bring Hudson Robinson into the backfield now. High snap and a flag and take too much time. Let's say, no, illegal procedure. Cost him five. Bulldogs, someone jumped too soon. Take the football back inside the 35-yard line. Down range the same first, but now the distance is 15. First and 15. Let's good look at David McCombs. Again, he looks like a football player. Only 6'3", 215, just a junior. 141, 256 passing. He has uh, had 23 touchdown passes. Going for over 2,000 yards this season. Completes about a little 55%, not a great percentage. Had six passes intercepted, though, too, so... Something the Union secondary is aware of as well. First and 15 now for Memorial. McComb under pressure, gets away from one, rolls out, looking to throw on the run. Intercepted, picked off there for Tulsa Union. By Devin Jordan. The guy who, right, right before he ran out of bounds. The guy who just was committed this week to the University of Oklahoma. Devin Jordan also in the Tulsa World Top 10 players. But Devin Jordan gets the interception. And it'll give Union the football. Great field position. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. And out come the Union offense now. Led by their freshman quarterback, Kaysen Delgado. Number 10, 6 foot, 160 pounds. In the backfield, Jordan Schelling. Boston Carrasco, Gino Boyd. Miles Davis. Brandon McQueen, the receivers. 
Delgado takes a snap, hands off. Throws to Boston Cross, goes in the backfield. Got maybe a yard on the play. Not Tackle much there, there. By, by Carson Evans, right about the line of school. Well, did gain a yard. They're giving up a, almost 38 points a game, this defense is. Yeah, and the coach is saying they're really undersized the interior line. They start a uh, sophomore defensive line, 6'2", 210. Best player, they say, is a guy named Draylon Nero, number nine. He's an outstanding linebacker for him. Delgado on a second and nine for the Red Hawks. There's Schilling off the left side. Good running room and across midfield and a first down for Tulsa Union. Jordan Schilling has nine rushing touchdowns on the season, 863 yards. May have a chance to hit that 1,000-yard mark tonight. Coach will keep an eye on that. He made a tackle was made by Draylon Nero, number nine. Yeah, that's the guy the coach is telling us about. Best defensive player. There's a 6'3", 205 senior. Plays the dog position for him, of course. First down for Union, now in Bulldog territory. Royal 49-yard line. Delgado's a man in motion. Fakes one. Now hands back to Schilling. Big hole. There he goes. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Tackled inside the 20-yard line. Ball is down and loose. Was he down? Let's I see. I believe he was down, but we'll see. And he is down. They're bringing it back. On the carry for the Red Hawks is yep. 31-yard run by Jordan Schilling. Yes, 40 yards running on two touches so far. Can you see who's down there, Coach? No. Okay. I can't see it. I think it is Schilling. Yeah, it is. It is Schilling. So if so, it probably landed on the football and just knocked the wind out of him. Hopefully that's it. Coach Fred's coming out here. we got... Of the staff members, of course, their medical team out there as well to take a look at him. He's on the 15-yard line. It will be Union first and 10 at the Bulldog 15-yard line. It's a good start for Union offensively. And did it, Coach, you know, they wanted to, to establish that line of scrimmage yes. and run the football tonight. Well, and I think that, you know, you're, you're right. That is exactly what they want to do. They want to establish. That'll make it better, you know, for when we want to throw it. They won't be maybe anticipating the throw. And if we run the ball and keep the yardage short, then we can kind of pick and choose what we want to do. As Coach Stockton mentioned, this Evan Memorial team has given up 37.5 points per game. They play a four-man front. Uh, Coach, like lots of movement on that front. And pass defense, zone coverage, not much man. Again, a very undersized interior line defensively. You're talking about guys that are, you know, 210 and 205. And in this day and age, we've got the offensive line for Union Fritz. That is, well, here it is, Jess, uh, Jesse Jones, left tackle, 6'3", 290. Left guard, Dominic Alvarez, 6'1", 240. He's a little one. The center, 6'3", 305-pound senior. Harlem Henry is back healthy after that last week. 6'4", 265 senior. Caleb Limke is uh, the right guard. And then it's a Chris Mendenhall is the right tackle, 6'5", and 280, a junior. Tight end, Miles Davis, 6'2", 215. That's the front for Tulsa Union. And it is Schilling up down, walk off under his own power. It's good to see. So I think you're right. Probably just fell on the football and the tackle and knocked the wind out of him. It's always a scary feeling the minute. Yeah, Coach, it was. Oh, man. So Union will have the football first and 10. And the ball is going to be marked at the Bulldog 18-yard line. Delgado by himself in the backfield now. Three receivers left, one to the right. Now they're shifting out. Back in the backfield now comes Isaac Covington beside Delgado. Isaac waiting for his first touch of the night. There it is. Off the right side, over the right side guard. Dives inside the 15-yard line, down to about the 12-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Number 18, Carson Evans was initially the tackler on that play. Covington averaging 9.9 .9 yards a carry. As long as run of the season, 33 yards, has... Uh, Three touchdowns in a reserve role. Six foot, 200 pound senior. We mentioned he was our player of the game last week against Edmund Santa Fe. He stays uh, in the backfield with Delgado. From the 13 yard line. Delgado takes a step. Oh, whistle sounds before and a flag is dropped. First one against Union tonight. Illegal procedure, the motion against the Red Hawks will cost him five yards here. 
Coach, we talked about how costly penalties were for Tulsa Union last week. Remember, two touchdowns called back for illegal, uh, ineligible receivers downfield. It cost us two touchdown passes. Yeah. Some of the Fred has been battling all season with penalties. That's their first of the night. Cost them five. Moves the football back to the 18 yard line. Second down and 10 now. Delgado looks right, throws, complete. Caught there by number two, Brendan McQueen. Tackled immediately when we get to the 10 yard line. Tackled there by Dylan Stidwell. Six yard pickup. Make it third down and four. Short game to play. And I would think this is two down territory, but I could be wrong. Yep, for the Bulldog 12 yard line. Now Gallo comes in from the bench with the play. Gino Boyd goes out to the left side. Brandon McQueen goes to the right side in the backfield. As Isaac Covington again with Delgado. Now they shift over. Miles Davis, the tight end, shifts over to the left side. Here's hands off. Goes to Covington. Covington hit in the backfield and going to be thrown down for no gain at all. Wow. That's a big defensive push there by Edwin Moyle. It'll be a fourth down and decision time for Coach Fred here. And a really good tackle there by number 11, Vincent Mitchell. Coach, the offense is staying on the field. No sign yeah, I, of a kicker. I thought they would. Go down the field quick. Uh, Jeff, you have some update for us on Schilling? I haven't said anything, but they are working on Jordan's left shoulder, uh, massaging it, doing some strength testing. I will let you know more as soon as I find out. Thanks, Jeff. Fourth and 12, and they're going to take the step. Now, Coach Fred calls a timeout. Redhawks take a timeout here with 621 left to play in the opening quarter. No score in the game yet at Memorial High School. As you heard Coach talking to Jeff pregame. I didn't realize, Coach, this is Tulsa Union's first trip to this uh, new stadium here. Oh, it's really Edmund nice. Rose. Really Beautiful nice field. stadium. Yep. A great job here in the Edmond School District with uh, uh, three big schools and three really nice stadiums. We were at Edmond Santa Fe last week. Mentioned the other team, Edmond North, will come to uh, Tulsa Union uh, next Thursday night. It's the final game of the regular season for Union. It's the senior night. Uh, that was a special night for these kids. Oh, always. Yeah, it'll be I hope they start the introduction a little earlier than, <laughs> than Edmund did tonight. We'll see. We'll, we'll have a talk with them. That's right. November 2nd, that's a Thursday, 7.05 the kickoff on senior night. And then we got a break of a week and come back to play a state quarterfinal game on the 17th at Union Tuttle Stadium. Okay, here we go. Fourth down and four. Need to get to the inside the nine, about the eight for the first down. Delgado brings Covington in, turns, fakes the handoff, throws outside, has the man, he's going to be caught short, but a flag is thrown. Flag is in the end zone. They stop the ball carry short of the first down to gain. I think we might have an interference call, though, in the end zone against Memorial. Wait for the official call here. Referee Michael Stevenson checking with his back judge. Oh, it's against... Tulsa Union, so they'll turn that down and take the football back. It was short of the line to gain. Well, it looks close over there. I can't quite tell. They haven't moved the sticks at all. See what they're doing. The flag was in the end zone. See what the call is. They're still chatting about it. Coach Frederick, interested bystanders, come out on the field to listen in as well. The white hat finally gets a ruling from his assistants, and let's see what he says here. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, they haven't quite made up their mind. Let's see what they want to call here. Flag was thrown. They indicated it was against. Uh, Penalty on the play. And now they're giving the options. And yes, that's what we thought. Okay. Interference, offensive interference against Union. And since the play came short of the first down, they, of course, Refused the penalty. And so Edmund will take over on downs inside their own 10-yard line. So stopped 
inside the red zone. It'll be Ed Memorial now taking over. First and ten. A disappointing end of the drive there, Coach. Oh, yeah, very disappointing when when you just, you know, we had a yard or two and that we thought for sure we'd make it. Back come the Bulldogs. Dave McComb, the quarterback. Sends Hudson Robinson in motion. Stops him there now. Turn and hand off to the first back of the backfield. Trying to break a couple of tackles. Pulled down before he gets to the 15-yard line. Gains four on the play. Initially, the tackle was made by Isaac Covington. I'll Nick, say that name a lot tonight on tackle. Nick I'm Booker sure. made the tackle. Hey, good news for Wellington, Texas. It's the Texas Rangers jumped out in front here. At the bottom of the first inning, one to nothing. Texas over Arizona. Game one of the World Series. Rangers have never won a World Series title. McComan. Second and five. Hand off the thing. It goes to Booker. Booker has some running room. Gets the first down. 20. Cuts inside. And we push down back to the 25 yard line. Lock and Bryant up the 24 25 yard line. Nice run by the sophomore. Booker. It JT, is first down. JT Frederick with the tackle over there on the far hash mark. Almost on the sidelines over there. All right, Rangers now two to nothing. One out, bottom of the first. Down at Arlington, Texas. Go Rangers. Hey, a Texas team we can finally cheer for. <laughs> McComb takes a snap, hands off again, and comes to Booker. Booker runs hard, and we push back before he can reach the 30 yard line there. Kind of give him four yards away on the, on the play. Big nine, number 99. Yeah, 99, Devin, Devion Pickens. With a play. Game to four, second and six. Football at the Bulldogs' 29 yard line. Need to reach their 35 for a first down here. Nicole with the backfield with him is uh, Billy McDowell, usually a flanker. Have him in next to McComb now. Quick pass out of the flat. It comes to McDowell. McDowell makes one guy miss. Goes across the fort. Another first down for the Bulldogs. They're moving the football now. JT Frederick made the tackle again. Ten yards on the pickup. And first down. Ed Memorial at the 40. Then a quick first quarter. Coming down to four minutes left in the opening quarter. No score here. Ed Memorial. Sierra Padilla hadn't touched the ball yet. Their star wide receiver goes way out wide to the right side. McComb takes a snap again, hands off. Up it goes to Riley Baptiste. The reserve running back. Kevion Jordan once again on the tackle. Eight yards on that pickup. So now again, we're looking at a second and short. So impressive drives so far for Edward Memorial. Remember the uh, quarterback, David McComb, was picked off earlier and their first drive by Devin Jordan. That was McComb's seventh interception of the season. That's why he's going to Kansas. <laughs> Says the Missouri Tiger. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Out goes Pudot to the right side. Robinson in the backfield with McComb. Takes a snap. Hands off. Stacked up. Thrown back to Riley Batiste. Flag is on the play. But boy, they came rushing through there. Stopped him for a loss. Be third. Down. Let's see what the flag is. Holding against the Bulldogs. All right, marching back. So instead of a uh, third and short, they'll take the down, make it second and long. It'll be second down, about 12 or 13. Football marked back at the Memorial's 38-yard line. Need midfield for the first down. Once again, Padula out wide at the top of the screen. And a man in motion here. Rolling out McComb. Throws back the other side. Oh, wide open. Nice, nicely done there. 40, 45, midfield. First down, 40, 35, 30. Down the sideline. Trying to catch him. JT Frederick, last minute push. Could not get him in time. And touchdown for 
the Bulldogs. That is Carter Moore, their 6'2", 195-pound senior. Good looking play on that uh, backside screen play. Coach, well blocked, and they go 62 yards for a touchdown, and it is Edwin Royal jumping on top first, six nothing here with extra point to come. Not exactly the way we wanted this game to start. Set up well there, very impressive start for the Bulldogs. Attempting the extra point is number 47, Ty Ackerman. Ty Ackerman does all their kicking for Memorial, punting and place kicking. Trying to add the seventh point for the dogs tonight. Kick is up. And it's good. So with two minutes and 42 seconds left to play in the opening quarter, it is Edmund Memorial that has jumped out in front of number two ranked Tulsa Union, seven to nothing. We'll be right back, take a quick break here. You're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. School Edmond, Oklahoma, where the Bulldogs have jumped out to a 7-0 lead. Just capping, listen to this coach, a 91-yard six-play drive. Took a 326. The big play was that 62-yard screen pass from uh, to David from McComb uh, to Carter Moore. The extra point was good, and it is Memorial up 7-0 on Union. As Union sets up to receive the kickoff. Flag is thrown. They must have been offsides or something. Yeah. Yeah, illegal procedure against the kicking team. I see that very often. No, you don't. <laughs> First time called on the Bulldogs. Five yard penalty, repeat kickoff. All right, Union waiting for their first chance to run the football back. Did it really well against Santa Fe. When a short squib kick on the ground. Picked up the 30-yard line, 35, 40. It's Covington back in the game now. Takes a hit there as he brings the football back. Good field position for Interesting, a little squib kick there, Coach. And yeah, they Covington didn't well. Up. Watching the last two or three games, I think they probably decided they didn't want to kick off to one of our guys. <laughs> Understandable after that uh, Roscoe 97 yard touchdown run back against Edmund Santa Fe on the opening kickoff last week. Here come the Red Hawks, led by their true freshman quarterback, Kaysen Delgado, 6'160. We'll give you an update on Shaker Rising later on in the game here, too. Hopefully, some good news. Delgado takes the snap, quick throw, complete near midfield, pull down there for a quick gain of the play. And it's Gino Boyd, their leading receiver. Gino with uh, almost 500 yards reception. That should give him close to 500 yards now. 6.2 yards a catch. Five touchdowns for the senior wide receiver. Picked up the first down. It'll be first and 10. Tulsa Union at their own 49-yard line. Gino Boyd goes out left. Along with Brendan McQueen. Delgado takes the snap, hands off, cross midfield, scramble for the push back, short gain on the play, maybe a couple of yards. Tackle there, oh, excuse me. That Boston Cross going to carry good coach. Yeah, tackle there by number 18, Carson Evans. 
have not seen Jordan Schilling back in the game. So he had that long run. To hurt his shoulder, Jeff was reporting on that. So we're waiting to get an update on that. Delgado, quick pass out. It comes to Carrasco. Carrasco, next one, guy missed the 40. Here he goes, 35, 30 now, shoved out of bounds there. Nice move by Boston Carrasco, the 5'11", 170-pound junior. At the 25-yard line, shoved out of bounds there. First and 10 for Tulsa Union, 23 yards on the pass play from Casey Delgado. Number nine, Draylon Nero shoved him out of bounds. Looks like the play's coming back. Anybody see a flag? <laughs> Still don't see a flag. But there was a foul. They're bringing it back. There's a flag right here on the sidelines. <clears throat> Holding against the Union offense. Cost him 10. Cost him a big play. And cost him a first down at the 25-yard line. Now they're back in their own territory at the Red Hawks 42 yard line. Now they face a second and long. That's Miles Davis in motion there. Reverse comes to Davis. Davis throwing the football downfield and is caught. Picked up the 25 yard line. Inside the 15, inside the 10 yard line. Brendan McQueen on the Tight end pass from Miles Davis. Not a halfback pass. That was the tight end. Miles Davis took the reverse handoff. Pass downfield to Brendan McQueen. Moves inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Red Hawks. 50 yards on that pass play. How about that to overcome a yeah. penalty, Coach? And he tackled it by number one, Syrian. I can pronounce his last name. Syrian did well, yeah. From the nine yard line, first and goal, Red Hawks. Delgado. In the backfield, takes a snap, hands off. Up the middle it goes, pushing forward now. Inside the five yard line. Good pickup on that first and goal play. The Red Hawks is number 28, Trivion Perry Spike. Look like number 45, Tegan. Lush was the one making the play. Tavion Spite was the ball carrier. As we've gone now about three deep on our running backs. We've got some injury situations here. I mentioned Schilling earlier. Somebody said Covington had an issue. Oh, said Covington has his shoulder wrapped up on ice on the sidelines too. We'll check out now with Jeff in a little bit here. And Spawn in the backfield. Pulled down. No gain on the play. That's going to end this first quarter. It's going to stun a lot of people across the state. After one quarter of play here at Ed Memorial Stadium, the Bulldogs, after a 91-yard touchdown drive on a 62-yard screen pass for a touchdown, lead Tulsa Union. It's Memorial 7, Union nothing. After one quarter of play, we'll take a break here from Edmond, Oklahoma. Again, you're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. Red Hawks are trailing. 7 0 as we begin the second quarter. Play some other football scores around the snow. Oh, there's a quick shot of. There is our leading running back, Jordan Schilling, who's out with a obviously a shoulder situation. All ice wrapped up on that uh, uh, right shoulder, it looks like. Schilling, of course, the leading ball carrier, 5'9, 200 pound junior. Had two big runs at the start of the game, averaging uh, nine yards, uh, nine touchdowns, averaging 107 yards a game. But he looks like he's done for the night. Jeff, get an update for us. 
Yeah, guys, I just spoke to Dan Newman. He said that Jordan is still dealing with this left shoulder injury. They have put some ice on it for now. They're going to reevaluate him at halftime. They have not ruled him out for the remainder of the game as of yet. They're going to look at him again at halftime. I believe he's taking some ibuprofen right now, but uh, they are optimistic. Carrasco hands to Covington, sweeps it on the right side into the end zone. Waiting for the sign, and there it is. Touchdown, Tulsa Union from six yards out. Again, they're moving people out of the backfield now. That was Boston Carrasco, not the quarterback Delgado taking the direct snap. And he ended up to ask Isaac Covington. I reported earlier it was not Covington. It was, of course, I was a shilling with a bad shoulder. So Isaac Covington going to be a big part of that rushing game now again, it looks like tonight, Coach. Emerson Kiker attempt the extra point to tie this one up. Oh, the kick is up just barely. Almost got blocked there by a guy coming in the side, but it's no good. He missed the extra point. Oh, my gosh. So big pressure put on there, and uh, Kiker, uh, uh, Jake Scarborough, missed the extra point. So it's going to be 7-6. Memorial still with the lead here. So something very deflating, isn't it, about missing an extra point, Coach? It just kills you. Uh. Yeah. Never is automatic. Eisen Covington scoring on a six yard touchdown run, though, that capped a 61 yard six play drive. Two minutes and 40 seconds. And just into the second quarter play, 11.55 left in the first half. Tulsa Union pulls in with, within one point now at 7 6. Kicking off for the Red Hawks is number 84, Jacoby Johnson. Emerson Kiker to kick off for Union. Taken at the 8-yard line, 15, the 20. Trying to reverse the 25-yard line. Gets him one tackler. A lot of Red Hawks over there. They'll knock him down inside the 20. He lost about six yards on that return. That was uh, Billy McDown on the return there. And Ashton Fowler. Nice Ashton job. Fowler with a nice tackle. They'll mark the football back inside the Bulldog 20-yard line. First and 10, Edmund Memorial at their own 19-yard line. They lead 7-6. to six. Just underway here in the second quarter. Chris Lincoln, Tom Stockton, Jeff Johns, Richard Johns, and you in the... Red, Red Hawks football team here as Rick Corey down in Dallas getting ready for the Tulsa SMU tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for the Golden Hurricane. Hopefully a bounce back game for them. Dave McComb, quarterback, turns, hands off, first back through, and that is number seven, Nick Booker, six-foot sophomore, only got a yard on the play. Good defensive work there for Tulsa Union. Heckle on a play there by Tuck Tucker Cook filling Tucker in for Cook. Lane Wood. Gain just a yard, second down and nine. McComb wants to throw, being pressured in the backfield. Throws on the run, and it knocked away, incomplete. J.T. Frederick, the coach's son, made the defensive play there. Incomplete pass, and it's going to be third and long now for the Dogs. And this, I think this is... This is, good. this is big. Uh, you know, not game changing necessarily, but this is big. Right now, we need to not let them have this and get good field position and take control of this game. They're at their own 20. Need to get to the 29 for a first down here. Third and nine for the Dogs. McComb, a conversation there, and then spreads his offense out. Sends Booker, his running back, off to the left sideline on the run, being chased. Throws downfield, and it is in and out of the hands. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by J.T. Frederick. Intended out there for Syrian Padula, their leading receiver. And J.T. Frederick, as coach said, just couldn't quite get it. He dove just short of it there, but it's going to be fourth down, fourth and nine, and punt time for any one of the first punt of the evening for the Bulldogs. Coming with the 11-03 mark of the second quarter. Ty Ackerman. Is their putter. Boots it away. They're going to let it bounce across the 50, right at the 50. He's going to stay right at the 50-yard line. That's where 
Tulsa Union takes over. First and ten at midfield. 30 yards, all they got on the pump there. So, Coach, good field position here. No. Oh, awesome. We need to go down and, and do something. We need to not let this good field position go to waste. We need to go down and do it. Again? No doubt. We have our first string quarterback, Shaker Rising, has been out for three games uh, with an arm injury. Now Jordan Schilling, a number one running back, is out with a shoulder injury. And some beat-up guys in the offensive line, uh, Lane Wood, their star inside linebacker is out on a concussion protocol. So they have a banged-up football team on this, the uh, uh, ninth week of the high school season. Delgado, that turns, hands off, midfield, breaks the tackle, 45. They pull down there. Right again, the ball carrier. Again, we're going deep in the Union backfield as well. Davon Perry Spite, number 28. The tackle was Tegan Leach, number 43. Gain of seven, making second down and three. Delgado sends Miles Davis in motion. Comes in, sets up to the left side. Turns, hands off, up the middle. And we push back, no gain on the play. Boy, he was meant to be third down and short. He was meant thrown back quickly again. That was Tavion Perry Spite, number 28, 5'6", 160 pound sophomore. He is now the running back. For Tulsa Union with uh, Schilling on the sidelines. Expect some Wildcat with Covington and Crosco later on in the game, too. Jenks leading Bocono 21 to nothing at Jenks tonight. The game just in the way in the second quarter. Right hand out, breaks tackle 40, 35, 30 in the clear, 25, 20. He's going to score 15, 10, 5. Isaac Covington. Another big run, touchdown for Tulsa Union. 43-yard run by Covington. Isaac Covington. We'll see here if they go for two. Looks like they are right now, I think. Nope, kicker's coming on. My bad. Okay. Number 84, Jacoby Johnson to attempt the extra point. Emerson Kiker is going to tip the extra point and feel flag is thrown before he can get the kick underway. Cost number five on a procedure. What it was. They mark it off anyway and we'll bring the extra point attempt back outside the 15 yard line for uh, Emerson Kiker, the six foot, 190 pound senior. Again, pressure from the outside. The kick is up. This one is good. And the flag is down again. Another flag on the play. The extra point is good. Looks like they're not worried about it, though. They're going to pick that one up or it'll be declined. It must have been against uh, Edmund. So the Union flag guys are out there running around the field with the UHS. They roughed the kicker, I think. So roughing the kicker against. Andy Moyle will be marked off on the uh, kickoff coming up. And Tulsa Union has their first lead of the night. 9.33 left here in the first half. The Red Hawks 13. The Bulldogs 7. That Isaac Covington 43-yard touchdown run capped a 50-yard scoring drive in just three plays. Took a minute 22 seconds after that short punt for Andy Moyle. And now Union with their first lead of the night. Number five, Madden Willis, number 14, going down. Edmund Santa Fe leading Owasso, 14-7. to seven. First, Rangers still on top, right? 2 nothing. Top of the third against Arizona down at Arlington. Once again, the kickoff will be handled by... Uh, Emerson Kiker, number 84. Cade Sanderson, Billy McDowner, deep and 
Dual safety for the Bulldogs. Oh, the pooch kick. And diving for the football. I think Union's going to get it. They got the ball. I don't know if it Let's gone. Say. Has it had it. I think a flag is down, right? Must have been short. That's yeah, flag at the 45-yard line. So tried to surprise him with a pooch kick. Well, they converted it nicely. It was recovered by a Red Hawk player, but a flag was thrown. So I guess it did not go with the acquired 10 Maybe yards. Maybe we were offsides on the kick. I don't know. That's what it looked like, five yards. Oh. Yeah. Coach is out in the field. Coach Frederick, he's trying to get an explanation. Well, these guys aren't much at giving signals, are they, Coach? What's no. Okay, we'll try this one again. Union, after just taking the lead, 13-7. to seven. Kicking off for the Tulsa Union Red Hawks is number 84, Jacoby Johnson. Moved out of the other hash mark. And again, Emerson Kiker. Ready to kick off. <clears throat> Two men are deep for the Bulldogs inside, right, the side, right by their five yard line. And we'll try it again. This one just kicks it straight away and straight out of the uh, field of play into the end zone. That means a touchback in high school football. First and 10, Ed Royal from their own. 20-yard line as they bring their offense back out of the field, led by their junior quarterback, David McComb. And Tulsa Union looking for another three and out. That was a great defensive yes, series last round. Set up a 50-yard uh, scoring drive that put him in front of the scores here tonight. Uh, it's the Enid leading Southmore, 14 to nothing over here on this side. Uh, Norman North, 9 nothing over Westmore. That's in the second quarter, or first quarter. Uh, Jenks 21 nothing over Broken Arrow. That's in the second quarter. Mustang 7 nothing over Edmund North. Bixby 19 nothing over Moore in the second quarter. Hannah goes outside. That's their top running back, Booker. Nick Booker down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Not before he has a first down, though. Knocked out by Devion, or Devon Jordan, excuse me, number five. 17 yard pickup, though, by Nick Booker. Okay, it's a good chunk yardage, Coach, on the outside. So the Dogs have a first down at their own 36-yard uh, line. McClone, Booker in the backfield. Hands to Booker. Booker off the left side guard. He'll be pushed back as he reached the 40-yard line. Gained four on the play before being shoved back by the center of that uh, Union defense, of a big number, number 99. Devion Pickens. Game five, it's called second and five from the Dogs' own 40-yard line. Three receivers out to the left side for McComb. Sends Baptiste in motion out there as well. Now he rolls away from the coverage to the right side. Throws on the run. Downfield has a man open. Has it at the 15-yard line. Out and dropped it. Incomplete. Oh, he went up and coming down with it. Looked like that's their star receiver. Syrian Padula, the first time they've tried to get him tonight. Thought he had the catch, Coach, but hit the ground. The ball came loose and a break for Tulsa Union. Their incomplete pass. Going to be third down for the Dogs and six. I think that was J.T. Frederick back there on the coverage. Oh. So third down, six now for Memorial. they got to reach to the 46-yard line here for a first down. McComb being pressured, throws incomplete, almost intercepted. In and out of the hands. Incomplete. The Rodriguez. And number 16, Tucker Cook. On a blitz. Came through there and really rushed that pass. They got Rodriguez, 34, the 130 pound junior 
quarterback almost had the interception. Pressure's on, punt is away. That's Ty Ackerman's kick. Oh, fair catch call for. He ran into the ran yep. into the receiver, flag is down. Well, they had no chance on that, my gosh. That's goes back there, put his hand up there for a fair catch. They got to run over. That's going to cost the Bulldogs some yardage. It'll be a first down for Tulsa Union. It helped some of the field position here. Stat-wise so far, uh, 175 yards for Union. Total offense so far to 133. Pretty close to this point. Passing yards, 73 for um, Ed Memorial, 68 for Union. But uh, Union's rushed the ball for 107 yards to 60. First of now put the football up at the 30-yard line. After the penalty, be first down. They're still talking a little over here. Oh, they're just now bringing the. Arizona's just taking the lead at Texas. What's going on here? Top of the third, Arizona three, Rangers two. Top of the third of the World Series, game one. So they mark off the penalty against the dogs who are running into the uh, punt returner. And it gives Union the football first and 10 at their own 30 yard line now. Delgado with the shotgun takes the snap, looks downfield, and it is going to be knocked around, almost intercepted. Tender for Gino Boyd in and out of the hands, incomplete there. Good defensive work there, number 11. For Memorial. Vincent Mitchell made a nice play there. It could have very easily been an interception. Had right in his hands there, couldn't quite yep. hold on to that. So, break for Union. Second down and 10 now. Boyd comes out to make some changes in the receiving core. Tulsa Union 13, Ed Memorial 7, 8 16 left to play in the first half here. Senior night for the Bulldogs. Delgado takes a snap, hands off to the middle, across the 35-yard line. Nice gain on the play. That's Boston Carrasco, the 5'11", 170-pound junior, had a gain of five. Now be third down and five. Red Hawks, to convert, need to get to their own 40-yard line here. Isaiah Spot, Spot, yeah, Spot, made the play there, number 28. Third and four. Again, he needs to get to their own 40-yard line for a first down here. Delgado, direct snap. Throws to Gino Boyd. Screen pass. It's going to be good for the first down. Gino Boyd gets across the 40-yard line. Gains five and needed four. So first down. Move the chains here for the Red Hawks. And number zero, Bennett Bickle. Makes the play after the first down catch. Kevin comes out. Tavion Perry Spite, number 28. The sophomore comes into the backfield now. Now just joining the huddle now is their quarterback, the freshman, Cason Delgado. It's a pretty young backfield right now, coach. Freshman quarterback and a sophomore running back. Yeah. Delgado throws the deep ball. Incomplete. Yeah, there's going to be a flag. flag. There should be, yes. Intended to pass intended down there for Braylon Danzi. Inside the 20-yard line, flags all over the place there. Now another flag is thrown on the, on coach, the coach, it looks like. Well, I think the call was made because the, the defensive back did not have his head turned around watching the ball and just covered up the face and everything else of the receiver. That's here my referee here, Michael Stevenson. Is he, we know he passed interference. I think we also have a... Yeah. Call from the uh, against the Ed Memorial bench. There's obviously uh, head coach Logan Thomas. Oh, sideline warning. Not a, not a penalty then? Nope. 
<coughs> gate sideline warning, but it is pass interference. That mark off, of course, high school just to 10 yards and moves it across into uh, Bulldog territory. First and 10 union, though, at the Memorial 44-yard line. Spate in the backfield, next to Delgado. Fake the handoff for the man in motion. Delgado looks, throws, and it is in and out of the hands, incomplete, almost intercepted. Tended down there, number 19, that is Dylan Baldridge, had it, dropped it, and it was almost picked off. Incomplete pass, so the second down and 10. Number 81, Bo Bayouth. Made the play back there on defense. So they were lucky that wasn't picked off. Second and ten. Delgado had three way out to the right. Now brings it back inside. Handoff goes again to Spite, who goes across. To the 41 yard line, just a couple on the play. Going to be third and long for Union here. Trip Roberts, number 85, made the play. Brandon Danzi comes in as one of the receivers. Delgado rejoins the Union huddle. As they face third and eight. Need to reach the uh, Memorial 34 yard line for a first down here. Spade in motion. Delgado looks, throws to the left side. Picked up there by Miles Davis, the tight end. Going to be swarmed under, well short of a first down here. Good defensive play there. Davis got only three yards on that counter screen play, and uh, it's going to be maroon jerseys all over him. Stop short. It'll be fourth down. And Miles Davis is the uh, punter in the backfield now. They got to go for it, do you think? Yeah, Delgado came yeah. back in. All right. That or we may yeah. have Miles the Davis long snap. Split wide to the right Bang side. Here or something. Again, they need the 34 for a first down. Delgado looks, throws over the middle, and it is incomplete, almost intercepted. And it'll be down, taking over four. Memorial as they go four and out here on the play. You could gamble for a coach at uh, yeah. midfield, but yeah. has some confidence there in his defense. Certainly he's playing well tonight. Owasso and Edmund Santa Fe are tied now 22-22. That's in the first quarter. Wow, 44 points in the first quarter. Where's that game? Is that Edmund and Santa Fe? Is that Edmund? Yeah. Oh, it's at Owasso. Yeah. So the Bulldogs take over. First and 10 after uh, stopping Union at their 39-yard line. McComb, hands off, big hole off the left side. That is Booker. Booker breaks one tackle, 45, midfield, 45. Russell down at the 43-yard line. Big gain on first down. That's their sophomore running back, Nick Booker. Some good block on the left side there and a nice run of 17 yards. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Marked inside the... Union 45 yard line, put it to 43. First and 10, Memorial. Devin Jordan, number five, makes the play. We got an update from Jeff Johns here in a moment after this play. McComb takes the snap, hands to Booker again. Booker's gonna be pulled down. No gain on the play. Nice job by the Union defense there. All kinds of Red Hawks over there to pull him down. That by number 16. Tucker Cook, that inside linebacker taking over for Lane Wood tonight. Let's go down to Jeff Johns for a pickup here. Well, guys, I've talked about it a few times already this year. I don't know who's talking to him, but JT Frederich definitely gets most improved this year. That kid has been all over the field the last few weeks. Thank you, Jeff. He's been impressive. You're right. The coach's son did a good job for him. McCone with a second and long. Keeps it himself. Off to the left side, breaks one tackle, goes out, out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Gain five, the third down and five down for the Dogs. In Union territory, the market at the Red Hawk 
43 yard line. Run out of bound by number 16, Tucker Cook. Third, third and five. McComb waits a snap. Oh. <laughs> uh, might have been offsides on Union there. Got a good shot on the uh, center for uh, Brock Dozier. The 230-pound uh, center went backwards there as Tulsa came across. And it gives him an automatic first down. They have the five yards they need. So hand him a first down here. That puts the football now at the 33-yard line of Tulsa Union. Cone waits for the direct snap. Pressure on, escapes one man, makes another one miss, and pulled down short of the line of scrimmage. Nicely done defensively there. Isaac Covington was there 21 for sure. And number 16, Tucker Cook, was also there. No gain on the play. Second and 10 now for the Dogs at the Union 33-yard line. Clock running, under four minutes to play here in this first half with Union holding just a 13 to 7 lead. It's going to be a surprising score for a lot of people across the state when they see that. Tulsa you know, is a big favorite here tonight against the Bulldogs that are 1 and 4 in district play and just 3 and 5 on the season. Of course, Logan Thomas's group is playing well tonight here. Looks like they're just going to let the time run down, call a timeout. And that's what they did. Timeout for the Memorial Bulldogs will take it with him here with just 3.22 left in the first half. It is Tulsa Union 13, Edmund Memorial 7. This is Red Ox football on the Union Sports Network. Where the Union Redhawks lead. Boyle 13 to 7. Boyle facing now a second down and 10 from the Union 33 yard line. McComb, the quarterback, turns, hands off, it goes to Baptiste. Baptiste off the left side for a gain of two or three yards on the play. Nice and defensively for Union there. Number 99, Davion Pickens, makes the play. Gain of three, third down and seven. Need a D up here, Coach. Yes, Snuff we this did. out. Two receivers out left for McComb now. Takes a snap. Rolls to the right side. Comes back the other side now. Pressure on. Gets a good block. Pass to the corner. Does 30, 25. Has the first down. Goes out of bounds. Looks like he has enough for the first down. Right at the marker there on the 23-yard line. I think it will be enough for a first down for the Dogs. Well, he has some speed. McComb. Yes, he does. Yep, his first down. And that's Seven-yard run by David McComb. The quarterback gives him a first down. The Union 23-yard line now. McComb, that turns, hands back to Booker. Booker off the left side, stumbles across the 20-yard line. He's over there for a gain of four yards on the play. Initially on that play, it was number 44. Ian Rowe? Yes, Ian Rowe. Gain of four, second down and six. Bulldogs inside the red zone of Tulsa Union at the 19-yard line. One receiver left, two to the right. 
Cone. The man in motion. Goes off the right side. Throws complete to their number one guy, Simeon Pedula. Pedula trying to break a tackle. Does. Drives forward the 11 yard line. And has a first down for Ed Memorial. Nicely done by that 6'3, 190 pound senior splitter we've heard about. Simeon Pedula made the catch. Broke a couple of tackles. Gets the first down. Number 11, Ashton Fowler on the, play, on the tackle. Padilla this time goes out to the left side along with Billy McDowell. Quarterback McComb in the backfield along with Booker running back. Turns looks to the sidelines to get a play in now. And with seven seconds left on the play clock. Back in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Looking, looking. Throws the man wide open. The 10. Breaks the tackle, goes inside the six, push back there. And again, I think it was Padula. Yeah, number one, Sam Padula, gain of six. Ashton Fowler, the initial tackler. Coming under a minute left to play in the first half. Memorial trying to get the lead back. They trail 13 to seven. They have a second and uh, four now from the six yard line. Head up to Booker, hit in the backfield, gonna be pushed back, gonna lose the yardage on the play. Great rush by the Union interior defensive line there. Timeout called by Memorial with just 40 seconds left here. Trey Barnes on the play. Tucker Cook was also there, 16. He's played well into the sophomore. Yes, he has. Very In well. place of Lane Wood, the inside linebacker's out. It's a banged up football team all of a sudden, Coach. We talked about uh. the shaker. Rising or quarterback has been out for the last three games. Their star quarterback. And some good news. He's out of the sling. Uh, may get a chance to do some rehab throwing next week. And uh, I imagine he'll be doubtful for the final regular season game on senior night. But hopefully with a bye week, Coach, you might see him in a chance to the playoffs. No. Oh, absolutely. I think that's what they're hoping. Anyway. Yeah, that's what they're hoping. But Delgado's done a good job for him as a true freshman. Halftime at Bixby High School, right? Yeah. Bixby, 33 more 30. Mm -hmm. hey, close game. Jenks, 21 nothing over Broken Arrow. Was that a wassail? They were crazy there. For, yeah. 22-22, that was still in the first quarter. All right, here we go, third down and six. Moore can still get a, Moore can still get a first down at the three yard line. What the delay is here. I don't know either. McComb with Nick Booker in the backfield with him. Okay, put some time back on the clock, and now it's 42 seconds left in the first half. McComb sends Booker out in motion, looks to throw, comes back to the other side, reverse screen, picked up there at the five, forward to the three yard line, gonna have a first and goal. Well, that reverse screen's one they scored a big touchdown yep. on earlier. Nicely done there. And it's first and goal for the Bulldogs. At the two-yard line. Booker behind the quarterback, McComb. Hand to Booker. Booker off the right side into the end zone. Touchdown. Ed Memorial has taken the lead on Tulsa Union just before the end of the first half here. If they kick the point to get the lead. Yeah, the Bulldogs, I tell yeah. you, that's right. They've, yeah. uh, they've put up some fight here tonight. Oh, they, they have. They have. Talk about a three and five team and a one and four in the district, but uh, they've given Tulsa Union obviously all they want and more. Right now, they're extra point away from taking a halftime lead. Ty Ackerman will attempt the extra point. Kick is up. And the kick is good. And Ed Memorial leads Tulsa Union 14 13, but 28 seconds left to go in this opening half. Surprising first half to this point. Well, it's really gone toe to toe 191 yards for a Union, 189 yards for Memorial so far. Unions uh, had 115 yards on the ground compared to the 96 of the dogs, while Moyle was out past Unions so far, 93 to 76. 
That last touchdown drive, Coach. 61 yards, 12 plays. Took just under five minutes, 456. And Rick Booker scored on a two-yard touchdown run. The kick was good. And at the near the end of the first half here, the Boilers regained the lead 14-13 to 13 on Tulsa Union. That will be an interesting halftime locker room. Hey, up. Ackerman to kick off for Emory Royal, number 47. Union has two deep inside the 10-yard line, now backing up to the five. And the kick goes into the end zone. That'll be a touchback from there. Devin Jordan caught it on the fly in the end zone. It'll be touchback out to the 20-yard line. There were 28 seconds left in the first half. How do you play it, Coach? Go, go deep. Get it going. Just go to half. Uh, you might, Yeah. I'm going I'm to go for it. I'm going to go for it, but they may just hand it off. We get the ball to start second half, I believe. Yep. See it help us out. Red Hawk offense out of the field, led by Devin Delgado, the freshman quarterback. Despite the running back, takes the hand off the middle, 20, 25, breaks one tackle, dives for the 30-yard line. They mark just short of a first down. And there are no timeout. They'll let the clock run here. So I think coach is ready to go back in to the locker room. They're going to let the clock is now at five seconds. That's going to come down to the end of the first half here with Tulsa Union trailing in Memorial. The Bulldogs 14 and the Red Hawks 13 here at Edwin Royal High School. Well, the first half, a bit surprising here, Coach. Some of your no. thoughts so far. <laughs> well, my thoughts are we're not consistent enough on offense, you know. That's for sure. And we're giving up the big plays on defense. Where got not always a big play in yardage, but a third and eight, and we let them out of it or something like that. So we got a few adjustments, but still – we only gave up 14. The offense has got to come out the second half, and I think the first the first series will be important. Well, here's the important part of the game now. The uh, Ed Royal Pom Pom Squad are taking the field. You see that because our granddaughter, Lord Olivia, is out there. It's one of the Pom Pom girls. That's why my wife Becky and her mom, Dora Smith, made the trip down with us, Coach. They didn't, they didn't care about the football game, I think. They just wanted to see their granddaughter. Well, the I can understand squad, that. So. so we'll watch and enjoy, too. At halftime, we'll take a break here with Edmund Memorial. Leading Tulsa Union 14 to 13. You're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. Keep an eye on my beautiful granddaughter. We'll see you in the second half. Please celebrate each senior as their name is called. Camille Baker. Abby Gonzalez. Brielle McCoy. Claire McKinnon. Meredith Mitchell. Macy Orris. Lincoln Rubble, Allison Wright, Ashlyn Gilkin, Varsity Captain Emerson Holden, Varsity Captain Emerson Kreischer. And now let's go back to the 70s. How about a little disco? Ladies, your music is on. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, EMHS Palm Squad. At Coldwell Banker Select, we have the group to meet your commercial real estate needs. The Select Commercial Group. David Roberts can answer all your questions relating to the commercial real estate market, your business operations, and real estate budgets. Sarah Bergeson can help you locate the right commercial property to buy, sell, lease, or rent. Scott Job can provide valuable information regarding property values and lease rates. We treat our clients like family. With properties located all over the state, call us at 918-695-6979. Coldwell Banker Select Commercial Group, proud sponsor of the Union High School Red Hawks. summer heats up and your AC isn't working right, be cautious of being pressured into a replacement. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion, and Airco will let you know if your AC is worth fixing. So call Airco today for a free second opinion. Does your school or organization need athletic apparel or spirit wear? Let me suggest Inkwell, a Tulsa-based company that can get you the quality you deserve at unheard of and unmatched lead times. Talking two weeks or less, not two months like most others, and can do it as much as 60% less than most of the big guys out there. So join the likes of Sand Springs, Union, Broken Arrow, Jinx, Ulaga, and Glenpool to name a few and get your customized sublimated uniforms, including Under Armour, Nike, or Adidas at inkwellnation.com. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. We're athletes. Coaches. And your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors. And we make our home. Our home in green country. Like you, we run. And fish. Hike. And bike. We enjoy the mountains. And lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians. And therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools. And more club teams than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. Treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us.
We start out west, the first of two 6A1 matchups this week featuring teams undefeated in district play, Union visiting Edmund Santa Fe. These Wolves are for real, folks. And here we go, this game is underway. Picked up the seven yard line. For Ladies and gentlemen, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, he has a break, there he goes. He's gonna go all the way, returning the touchdown all the way from the seven yard line. How about that? Boston Carrasco, Touchdown, Tulsa Union. Block, punt, and then the pick up and scoop and score. Wow, do they need that one. How about that? We started the first half with yeah. a kickoff return. 93 yard touchdown kickoff return. Now we start the second with a block, punt, and a scoop and score. And an extra point is up. And the kick is good. Hand off. Not going to get there. Wow, pull down. Great job. Number 11, Ashton Fowler. How about that? 5'11. 170 pounds senior made some big plays so far. Hands off to Robinson. Robinson is not hitting just he crossed it behind the scrimmage. Push back. Maybe got a yard, and that's about it. Hands off coming down the middle. 40, 35. Makes one tackle 30. Makes another tackle 25. Still on his feet. The 20. Trying to grab, hold, hold him down. They pull him down the 11 yard line. Oh, what a run by number 21, the senior. Snap. And up, Isaac Covington is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. We yard out, soup to the left side. Good. Blocking on the left side, sealed it off into the end zone with Covington. Touchdown, that could be the backbreaker right there. Wow. Finally, the offense gets an offensive touchdown. Newton takes the handoff, looks to throw, and it is intercepted. Picked up by Isaac Covington, number 21, at the 46 yard line. And Union takes over, the defense stands up and makes a big play, Coach Boyle. Now puts a man in motion. Makes the motion man, throws out the middle, wide open in the play, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, into the end zone. There is Gino Boyd for the touchdown. From 43 yards out, a 43 yard touchdown strike from the freshman, Casey Delgado, to the senior, Gino Boyd. 10, and Coach, I know the two offensive touchdowns in the fourth quarter put this one away. Union 31, Evans Santa Fe. And coach, I know coaches love to talk about a complete team victory. This truly was. How sweet it is, okay? You know what they say, right? Yeah, huh? yeah they get A, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, and another one. Another one. football game between the Bulldogs and the Red Hawks. You see at the half, a bit of a surprise, kind of a shock across the state of Oklahoma as Edwin Moyle coming into this football game with just a three and five record, only won one of five games in the uh, district, had the lead on Tulsa Union, number two ranked in the state, undefeated in the district in a 7-1 season, but they trail 14 to 13 here and coach, we get the kickoff to start the second half. 
Got to get this thing turned around quickly. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's it, it's not been like somebody's played horrible or, or any of that. It's just we haven't taken advantage of some things we've gotten a hold of, and we've got let them out of some situations on defense that uh, has allowed them to go down and score. But, yeah, it's – I, I, I still feel good about this game going into the second half. Temperatures dropped only 4 degrees with 54 kickoff. Now 50 degrees. We get ready to start the second half. Both teams back on the field warming up. Recapping the scoring of the first half. Edwin Royal got on the board first. They capped a 91-yard six-play drive with a 62-yard uh, counter-screen pass play to Carter Moore on the touchdown uh, <coughs> pass. The extra point was good. 7-0. Edwin Memorial. Unity counted very quickly. Just into the second quarter on a six-yard touchdown run by Isaac Covington. He kept a 61-yard six-play drive. Extra point was missed, though, so Memorial still lead 7-6. 9-33 left in the second quarter. The Union took the lead. Isaac Covington on a 43-yard touchdown run, capping a 50-yard three-play drive, minute 22. The extra point good. Union 13, Memorial 7. Then just before the end of the first half, 28 seconds left in the second quarter, Nick Booker scored on the two-yard run. Kick was good. And Memorial, capping a 61-yard 12-play drive, had the lead 14-13. to Fairness, Coach, this is not quite the Union team we've seen in the last few weeks. Starting off with, obviously, the junior all-star quarterback, Shaker Rising, missed now his third game with a shoulder injury. Also, at the start of this game, Jordan Schelling, the leading running back, leaves the game with ice on his shoulder. We have some changes on defense as well. Uh, inside linebacker, one of the leading tacklers and leading interception guys, Lane Wood, did not playing tonight with a uh, concussion uh, protocol. So this is a banged up football team on this uh, what the ninth week of the season. Not to be not unexpected, I guess. No, not unexpected. And you know, I think I think the people that are filling in for him are are doing okay. But it'll be it'll be really good when we get Shaker back. That'll be one thing for sure. The guy has thrown 21 touchdown passes and had an 80 percent completion percentage. That she's also already had. Major college offers from Oklahoma State and Mizzou to name a couple of schools. Defensively, for Union State, coach has been pretty solid. We mentioned uh, JT Frederick's name a lot. You mentioned Isaac Covington's name a lot here, a big nose guard. Davian Pickett has had some good plays as well there. And this kid, Tucker Cook, standing in for Lane Wood, yeah, has been part of it too. He's done a good, really well, done well. Again, Tulsa Union will kick off, I believe, will receive the second half kickoff. Beautiful big full moon still overhead there. Nice clear skies. And nice football weather. 50 degrees here. Ready to start the second half. Oh, my honey just came in here with cold hands. Did you see our brilliant granddaughter? She was brilliant. She had a, she had a black skirt on, right? I know. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bit of a surprise here, too, is on uh, senior night here for the Bulldogs. They lead uh, number two ranked Union Red Hawks as they get ready to start this second half. 14 to 13. Boston Carrasco, one of the two guys back deep for Union. <coughs> Ackerman to kick off for Tulsa for Edmund Moyle. 12 minutes on the clock. We're ready to start the second half of football here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Now they go into the end zone. Be a touchback, and Union will have it first and 10 at their own 20 yard line again with freshman quarterback Casey Delgado. Again, their leading running back for the season, Jordan Schelling. Hurt in the first half, left with ice on his shoulder. Again, Shaker Rising, of course, not playing his third game because of a shoulder problem. And had to make some changes. The offensive line has been a lot of up and down throughout pretty much the first part of the season here, Coach. Oh, very much so. A lot of – and those are very, very, very tough injuries that to, – or the people that are injured are very tough for us to try to play without. Now, God of the freshman coming in beside him. Shifts two receivers off to the left side. Puts one in man in motion. Fakes hand off there, gives to Covington. Covington across the 20, 23, dives for the 25. Pick up about four on the play. Second down and six. Carson Evans 
in on the play for Edmund. Jeff Jackson, what do you have for us down there? Staff, they said that Jordan Schelling has an undisclosed shoulder injury. He will be out for the remainder of the game, but does look good right now to come back next week. Back to you. All right, Jeff Johns. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate the report. Second down, six. Delgado hands off. Big hole to the right side, 30, 35. Just tripped up. Down he goes, 36 yard line. And again, it's Isaac Covington. He was the guy who really took over in the second half of the game last week at him in Santa Fe. Picks up 11 on that carry, and it's first down for the Red Hawks at the Union 35 yard line. Number 11, Vincent Mitchell made the play, and had he not made that tackle, uh, Union would be ahead right now because they wouldn't have caught him. Coming in again in the backfield with Delgado. Two receivers left, two to the right. Now they bring the receivers inside tightly. Delgado takes a step, hands Covington. Covington makes one miss, makes another miss, 40, 45. Tripped up, down he goes, but a first down. Gain of 11 yards on the run there by, uh, again, Isaac Covington. Six foot, 200 pound senior. Three touchdowns on the season. Averaging 9.9 .9 yards coming into this contest. The Union starts as they did the football game off, Coach, or run yeah. the football. Number nine, Draylon Nero. Nero with the tackle. Had he not made that, that again, that might have been a big, a great big play. Coming in, eight carries, 78 yards so far. Again, to shift two receivers off to the left side. Delgado, once again, Covington, Covington, hole 50, 45, 40. Steph Farmer's one man, 35, trying to get away from another one. Pulls his jersey down, and down he goes to the 31-yard line. First down again for Union. Whistle with a flag down. Looks like yep. it's going to be against Union. Going to come back. The run took it all the way down to the 31-yard line in Royal Territory with the penalty flag. Going to cost him a yardage again. Uh, referee, Michael Stevenson. And they're marking back. Ten looks like a holding call. Ten fifteen left in this third quarter. That is offensive holding cost the Red Hawks big gain on the play. All the way back to the thirty-five yard line. Need to get across to the Dogs forty-four for a first down. Delgado is coming to come into the backfield with him. Takes a snap again. It goes to Isaac. Isaac off the right side spins. Going to knock down. Only gain a yard or two on the play. Vincent Mitchell, number 11, was the initial tackler on that play. Excuse me, I just got a kiss from my granddaughter. Very cute. Oh, it's my daughter, not my granddaughter. Oh, yeah. My granddaughter is the pom pom girl. My daughter is the mother. It's very cute. I'm glad I'm not riding home with you after that remark. No, You're going to be yeah. in trouble. No, it was a kiss on the cheek. Okay. Yes, Where am I now? Oh, yeah, here we go. Second down, 18 for the Red Hawks. Delgado takes a snap, rolls out, looking downfield. Got Gino Boyd at the 30, and it is, oh, incomplete. Ooh, yeah, pass and a flag down, yes. Gino Boyd. Interference against uh, Edmund Moyle, number five. Madden Wills was the one who interfered with Gino. Looked like he had an opportunity for a big, long play there. Penalty flag goes. It'll be a first down, automatic first down. In offensive. Defensive interference. Oh, gosh. Offsetting penalties. We had a li lineman illegally downfield. They had the interference. It got to replay the down, which doesn't help Union at all because it was a second forever. Yeah. Last game with Santa Fe, Coach, we lost two long yes. touchdowns because of yes. uh, the downfield. we got to work on that. So the football spotted back now at the uh, Union's own 33-yard line, the 38-yard line. They have to get all the way up to the Memorial 44 for a first down here. Well, they flood the right side. One, two, three, four, five receivers out there. Delgado by himself. Throws setting up a screen there. Comes to Covington off the 40, pushed out of bounds across the 45-yard line. He had four blockers outside on the screen there, but not much running room. Actually, the pass went to Tavion Perry Spite, number 28. 
Right out of bounds there. Madden Wheels knocked him out of bounds. Picked up seven. Going to give him a third down and 11 now. This is big. Union breaks the huddle here. Again, four, five receiver on the right. Now, again, Spike goes out there. Oh, snap goes past Delgado. Picks it up. Looks, throws down field. Got three defenders around him. Ball tipped up in the air and knocked away. Good job there by Gino Boyd to play defense. Excuse me, not Gino, number 15. Gam Jones, the 5'6", 160-pound senior, the handed receiver. There were three defenders back there with him, and Gino did a, uh, Gam Jones did a nice job of just <laughs> playing secondary. Knocked the ball away, incomplete. Sets up fourth down, and Union sends the punt team in. Miles Davis to punch, standing at his own 30-yard line. Gets it away, he'll let it bounce, and he's gonna bounce back up field. Oh, hit at the 30, bouncing up across the 40, end of the 43 yard line. And my gosh, look at that, all the way back to the 43 yard line. Great bounce from Moyle. That punt was 11 yards. So again, penalties and just some bad plays there. Golly. So the Bulldogs got some momentum now, coach. A lead of 14 to 13 here, 849 left in the third quarter. We need a big stop right here. Here come the dogs out, led by their Kansas commit quarterback, the junior David McComb. Turns out to Batiste. Batiste goes across the 40, 45 yard line. Picks up three on the play. Second down and seven for Moyle. Davian Pickens on the play. Number 99. It's now Bixby 47, more three. That's the third quarter of that Wild Owasso Edmund Santa Fe game. Edmund Santa Fe now leads at Owasso 39 22. Jenks is destroying Broken Arrow, 28 nothing on senior night at Broken Arrow. Big rushes on, nice run there by the Bulldogs Hit across the midfield. They can be just short of, he picked up five, just short of a first down. Tucker Cook on the tackle. Riley Baptiste, the ball carrier. Clock running under 7.50. And Memorial with a lead of 14-13. A third and short. McComb sends two receivers out to the left, one to the right side. Oh, should be a procedure call, yes. Back move too soon in the backfield. That was wow. Riley Baptiste got a rolling start. Cost him five yards. So instead of third and three, be third and eight. Let's see if you can get off the field now. Ball start on the Bulldogs. Five-yard penalty, repeat, third down. As far as penalties go, both teams now with six penalty flags. The difference is, in one of 39 yards, the Union's cost them 60 yards. McComb on a third and seven. Need to get to the Union 47 for a first down. Back to pass. Oh, incomplete. In and out of the hands of Cade Sanderson, number two, the senior receiver. Good job defensively over there for the Red Hawks, knocking it away. Ashton Fowler, number 11, Not only knocked it away, knocked it, knocked the receiver down. So Ty Ackerman's going to come in to punt of the way for the Bulldogs. And here's our OU commit, Jordan Fowler, is back there to single safety to receive the punt for Union, standing just inside his 20-yard line. Kick is underway, nice high kick, fair catch is called for. Going to let it bounce in a short. Still bouncing around, going to go inside the 10-yard line and a good roll again for the Bulldogs. And it'll be Tulsa Union way back at their own 10-yard line. First and 10, start this drive here. 47-yard punt as opposed to the 11-yard punt that Union had on their last series here. So let's see if they get this offense cranked up here, Coach. What are you going to do now? Well, yeah. I wouldn't do a whole lot different than what they were doing. They were moving the ball. Just don't shoot yourself in the foot. 
You know, they were saying if it didn't broke, don't fix it. Henry Royal coming off a really big performance against Owasso. Could have won that football game here. 49-42 to they lost last week. And on the 6th of October, they uh, won their one district game, beating UConn 42-28. to This is senior night for the Bulldogs. Delgado in the shotgun. Hands off. Up the middle it goes. Just a short gain on the play. Not much running room there. Isaac Covington cut down after his three-yard gain on the play. Second Leland, down and seven. Leland Smith, number 82, with the tackle. Jones, Alvarez, Henry, Limke. Hall with the guys up front for Tulsa Union. They've not had a lot of success moving these Bulldogs out very much. Delgado, second and seven, takes a snap, hands off. And again, caught in the backfield, pulled down, no gain on the play, maybe one. That's about it, though. Covington held just that one-yard gain. Now it's third and long again for Union. Got to get to the own 20 for first down here, Coach. Zero, Bennett Bickle on the play. Delgado rejoins the huddle. A third and six. Two receivers left, two to the right. Back to the backfield comes number 21, Isaac Covington. Hitting six on third down. Handoff comes around the suit there. Dino Boyd has that, goes across the 20 yard line, has the first down. First down for Red Hawks on the reverse coming around outside. Nicely done by Covington on the block there. Gino Boyd got the yardage for the first down. Move with the sticks. And the clock is stopped while they do that. 5.21 left here in this uh, third quarter of play. Again, Tulsa Union trailing Ed Memorial 14-13. Two receivers go to the top of the screen, one to the bottom for the freshman case in Delgado. Bring the tight end, Miles Davis, back inside. Delgado throws outside quickly, caught the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Pulled out of bounds there. Nicely done by Braylon Danzi, the senior 6'3", 180 pound wide receiver. Big run on the play, pickup on the play of 31 yards. Good job by Vincent Mitchell, the strong safety number 11 for the Bulldogs. He gets him out of bounds, but up for that big game, 39 yards. Touchdown saving tackle. So Union moves the football into Bulldog territory now at the 49-yard line of Memorial. First and 10. Here come the Red Hawks. Two receivers left, two to the right. Again, they bring Miles Davis in for some blocking purpose. Make the handoff. Throws outside, take it to the 35, 40-yard line. Nice cut, nicely done there. Another good move. Well done. Braylon Danzi, the senior wide receiver. He was down, they ruled, before the ball slipped out. 16 yards, and the Union offense is coming to life here in the start of this uh, second half. Number zero, Bennett Mickle. Bennett Bickle, excuse me, Bennett Bickle. Makes the play. Casey Delgado, number 10, the quarterback, rejoins the huddle. Has Gino Boyd out left and out just wide of him is Braylon Danzi on the right side. Again, move the tight end, Miles Davis over to the right side of the formation. Takes the snap, takes the handoff. Delgado looking to throw, just pitches it out there to Braylon Danzi in the flat. Not much of a gain there, about three yards, two yards. Well, was quickly defensing on that one. Number five, Madden Wills makes the play over there. He had a three, second down and seven. Football at the Dogs' 30-yard line. Tulsa Union trailing by a point, 14-13. We're deep into the third quarter now here at Edward Memorial High School. Delgado, takes a snap, pitches outside, it goes to 30, 
25-yard line. Carrasco breaks another tackle, dives near the 20-yard line. Nicely done by Boston Carrasco there. Picks up eight on the play. Moves the uh, chains. It'll be first down for Tulsa Union. Near the red zone here, moving to the Ed Memorial 22-yard line. Delgado sends Gino Boyd wide to the left side with Danzi. With, uh, Danzi. Takes the snap, takes the, oh, drops the football, gets down on himself, I believe back at the 33-yard line, but a big loss on the play. play. Trouble with exchange in the backfield, gonna cost him big yardage there. Move the football back, loss of 10 on the play. Delgado did a good job just to get back on the football and save it for Union. And now they're back at the uh, Royal 32-yard line. Union making changes in their receiving core and also in the backfield. Covington comes out now. Ball's at the 32 yard line. Crosco in the backfield with Delgado. He's in motion, goes over to the right side now. Delgado brings Crosco back the other side. Over the middle, the pass is too high, incomplete. Tender for Gino Boyd just inside the 20 yard line. Well, I did a pretty good hit there. Vincent Mitchell, pass. number 11, with a really big hit. Boyd is still down, and he's going to stay down for more, it looks like. Yeah. Incomplete. The third down along. We come back and take a quick break here on the Red Hawks Football Network. Back at Bulldog Stadium here in Edmond, Oklahoma, where the Memorial High School Dogs lead the Union Red Hawks 14 to 13. 225 left in this third quarter. Union has a drive going here, then uh, shot themselves in the foot again with a bad snap and trouble in the backfield. Lost them 10 yards, and now they're back to third and 20. Need to get all the way down to the eight yard line, excuse me, 13 yard line for a first down. Delgado looks to throw down the right side, over the middle it goes, intercepted at the 15 yard line. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, down to the 42 yard line finally. Number 11, Vincent Mitchell, the strong safety senior, 5'11", 175 pounds, picked off Delgado. And Memorial has now, the union has a player slow to get up there. That's the big left guard, Dominic Alvarez, number 79. Under his own power, he's kind of limping off to the sideline with an assist from his left tackle buddy, Jesse Jones, there. Now he's jogging off. He's going to be okay. But Moyle with an interception now. And another turnover. Takes over and has the football. First and 10. Dogs that own 41-yard line. Head up goes to Booker. Flag goes as well. Down he goes. Gain him a yard or so on the play, and that was about it. Good. JT Frederick on the play. JT, nice job. The flag on Moyle. Holding will cost them 10 yards. Move it back. I totally blame this performance on my daughter. She's a Union grad, for gosh sakes. And she's. Redskin. Oh, oh, oh. That's the difference. She was a Redskin, not a Red Hawk. Oh my gosh, she was a pom-pom jumper girl too at that school. 
Now our granddaughter is. She, she did not wear, she did not wear skirts that short. I'll tell you that. Gosh, very short skirt. Oh my gosh. After the uh, penalty of 10, first down 20 now for Memorial. Man in motion, McComb, back to pass. Rushes on, rolls out of the pocket, throws on the run. Man wide open, he drops it. Billy McDowell, number 14, the flanker dropped it wide open inside at the 40 yard line. It'll be third down and long. Boy, he's wide to, open. There had to be a bust in coverage on that one. Oh. Stop the clock, a minute 45 left, third quarter. <clears throat> McComb facing second to 20. That caught outside there. He's going to pull down very quickly there. Number 15, 99. Carter Moore. And number 99, Davian Pickens. Boy, a big 264 pound Pickens got out there in a hurry yeah. to stop that for a six yard gain. He started the rush, the pass was thrown, and then he reversed his field and come back over here and made the big play. Big time play by the junior nose guard, 5'8, 264. Davion Pickens. Third down, long now for the dogs. We can't let them out of this one. Make them punt from here. Line of scrimmage, Memorial's own 37. They need to reach the Union 49 yard line for a first down here. McComb, the quarterback in the backfield. Has Booker off to the right side. Three receivers to the left. And I think they want a timeout. Evan's going to call a timeout. We'll take it with him here. Again, you're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. Norman North's come back to lead Westmore, 23 to 14. Mustang, all the way Edmund North, 41 to 3. Edmund North comes to Tulsa next week for senior night at Union. McComb takes a snap, third and long, pressure's on, rolls out, still being chased. On the run, looking to try to run now, gonna stop, try to throw, and it is out of bounds. Throws it away there with great pressure on from Union. Pass, out of that was a fourth down. Very needed stop right there by the yes. Union defense. All out rush was on from the Red Hawk defense. It made them throw it away, and it'll be punt time as Ty Ackerman is back there. The punt. Crosco deep for Union. Calls to the fair catch, takes it, and it'll be right at the 29-yard line. The Jordan. Jordan the man caught the football there. Devin Jordan. It'll be first down for Tulsa Union at their own 29-yard line. Still trailing here, 14-13. Running out of time, coach, in this third quarter. 38 seconds left. Yeah, we, they've got to take the ball down there now and get some points on the board, whether it's a short field goal that we ended up we ended up making or scoring. We got to come down there and do it because our defense has has found some rhythm right now. And if we can get ahead, it, it'll really help. Union first down from their own 29-yard line. Delgado takes a snap, hands off, off the right side. There goes 
Tavion Spite, number 28, for a gain of five. Second down and five now. That's number nine, Raylan Nero on the tackle. Ball to 34, need the 39 for a first down here. Now, Gallo rejoins the huddle with just uh, 10 seconds left for the quarter here. I don't think another player not. Nope, I don't think so. No, nope, that's going to be the end of the third quarter here at uh, Ed Memorial with the Bulldogs leading the visiting Red Hawks. 14 to 13, just 12 minutes left to play here for Union to get their act together here. My gosh, what a surprise here on senior night. Ed Memorial, the Bulldogs, the playing some great football, obviously because of my granddaughter, Lauren Crooks, as a pom-pom girl. And my turncoat daughter, who was a red, oh, you're a red, red skin, not a red hawk. So okay. That's a bad karma. We'll take a break here, try to get our act together up here in the booth. It is at the end of the third quarter. Ed Memorial 14, Tulsa Union 13. Welcome back to Bulldog Stadium. Final quarter, ready to start, and Tulsa Union trailing by one. Second and five. Agato pitches out to Covington. On the left side, he is swarmed under, knocked out of bounds for no gain by the Bulldogs. Isaiah Spartan makes the play, knocks him out of bounds. Mark him at the Union 34-yard line. Correction, number 28, Isaiah Stockwood. Need five on third down here, looking for the 39-yard line to keep this drive going. Delgado turns, hands off, up the middle, coming to breaks the tackle, drives across the 40, first down for Tulsa Union. Boy, big, tough, strong run there. Number 28, Perry Tavion Perrick Sykes making the play there, number 28. No, it was Covington. They messed that up on the PA. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Covington, good hard running there. Gets the All first right. down. Delgado takes the snap on the center. Pitches off to Covington. Across the 40, 45, midfield, here we go. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone. Touchdown signal. Any flags anywhere? I'm always worried about that. Yeah, it is. They signal touchdown. How about that? Wow. Isaac Covington again with the big play. 60-yard touchdown run. And Tulsa Union is back on top. 19 to 14. Go for two, coach? Well, it won't make them a shift because even if you do make two, they, they're going to kick an extra point if they would score. But I'm not, not my decision here. Looks like they're going to, though, I think. Thank you, man. Looks like they are going to go for two. Kevin Perry spite is in the backfield with Delgado, man in motion. Delgado rolls right, looking to throw. Low ball caught by, yeah, there it is. Nice catch. Nicely done there by Brendan McQueen. The wide receiver went down low to get it. Two-point conversion is good. And now a seven-point lead for Tulsa Memorial. 21 to 14, 10 42 left to play. 10 42 left in the game. Red Hawks, 21. Bulldogs, 14. That capped a 71-yard 
drive and just four plays. Covington with the 60-yard touchdown run. McQueen with a two-point conversion catch. For the Bulldogs, is number five, Madden Willis, and number 14, Billy McGown. Ooh. 42-0 jinx or broken arrow. What a lovely senior night that's going to be for the Tigers in the third quarter. Man. Kicking off for the Red Hawks is number 84, Jacoby Johnson. Emerson Kiker, the kicker, and he boots it away. Into the end zone. Oh, let him come out. 10, 15, 20. Cut down there at the 20-yard line. Nice tackle on the play. Wow. On the return for the Bulldogs is number 14, Billy McDowell. Being hit there on number 14, Billy McDowell, the returner. I think it was number 11. Covington again. Ashton Fowler. No, yeah, Ashton Fowler. Made oh, the yeah. Play. Okay. The ball will be placed at the 19 yard line. First and 10, Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs come on the field with their offense on a first down at their own 19 yard line now. They trail 21 to 14. Go, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, around the corner, and knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Good pursuit there defensively. Number 14. Dejon Gaines makes the play over there for a short game. Yeah, just three yards, second down and seven now for the Dogs. At their 22-yard line. Handoff goes to Booker. Booker swarmed under on the left side. No gain on the play. Great job by that Union defense. I'm going to have to say it was the entire defense <laughs> yeah, that made the tackle. They were all in there. Yeah, I saw 48 getting up there. Yeah, no. Lucian, Cro Lucian Cross, Kraus. So now third down and long for the dogs. Third and six. They're at their 24, need to get to their own 30-yard uh, line here for the first down. McComb, snap, straight back, pressure's on, throws on the left side, diving catch, great catch made there, number one, that is their star receiver, Karrion Padula, made the reception and a first down for Edmund Memorial. I don't know if there's a busted coverage or what, but he was certainly wide open, nobody around him. 13-yard reception for that 6'3", 190-pound senior, good-looking wide receiver, so there it's his their number one offensive player along with the quarterback, David McComb. And a first down for the Dogs now. They're at their own 35-yard line. McComb under pressure. Throws down to Silent. Caught there. That is again by Padula. There he goes. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Knocked down at the five-yard line. Kellen Padula got loose there and had been for number 11. Ashton Fowler made the tackle and saved the touchdown. 60 yard pass play for the Bulldogs and a first down. Now at the Union five yard line. First and goal, Memorial. Booker in the backfield with McComb. McComb hands to Booker, dives forward about the three-yard line, got like just a couple on the play. We second down and goal from the Union three-yard line. The Bulldogs is number seven, Nick Booker. Trey Barnes Brought down by number nine. on the tackle. This route right always come in, Coach. And he'll jumbo, jumbo set. Bring us big slow guys in the middle there to get run over. So that was that was big, but it was also slow. By, by a lot of energy, uh, great enthusiasm. McComb, again, Booker off to his right. Bring Sanders in the backfield with him. Throws the end zone, back of the end zone, touchdown. That again goes to Padula on a three-yard touchdown run from McComb to Padula on the pass play. 
It puts the dogs with a chance one point away from an extra point to tie this game up. And they send their kicker out. Ty Ackerman, no thought of a two point try here for the Bulldogs. They'll jump the extra point to tie this game. Ackerman with the kick. It's up. It's good, and we're tied. 21 21, 8 27 left to play in this game here at Ed Memorial High School. The number two ranked team of the state, Tulsa Union, really stoking with this Memorial Bulldog team. Tied at 21 8 27 left. We'll take a break, come back with more as you're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. for the Red Hawks is number five, Soaring Eagle Rice, and number six, Boston Carrasco. Kicking off for the Bulldogs is number 47. We're back here at Bulldog Stadium. Chris Lincoln, Tom Stockton, Jeff Johns, Richard Johns, and Andrew Irwin up here directing everything. As you're waiting for Ed Royal to kick off the Tulsa Union, they just tied this football game up at 21. 8.27 left to play in the game. That's going to help some. Kick was out of bounds. Miss hit that one. He'll you didn't give you a great field position to get started here. Trying to point out where to move the football. Like 35, isn't it? This is at the 35 yard line. Yep, kicked out of bounds on the sideline. Spot at the 35 yard line, so Union comes over, takes over from there. I guess, yeah, we went out of bounds. Okay, so mark it at the 37 yard line. All right, give us a couple more yards, that's fine. Delgado makes the pitch. Ooh, coming, almost lost the football. Picks it up now. That's Carrasco. Carrasco flag flies as he goes across the 45-yard line. The flag was thrown. Going to be against Union in the backfield, it looked like. Holding, yes. Holding against Union. Had to wipe out a good game by Carrasco to start this drive. Well, it's like one step. Up two steps back, coach. Yeah, that's Holding what we keep doing. On the Red Hawks. That's a 10 yard penalty. Repeat, first down. The 10 yard penalty moves the football back to the Red Hawks' own 27 yard line. Remains first down, but now instead of first and 10, we talk about first and 20. The clock one down towards the eight minute mark. You see, tied at 21 21 here at Memorial. Delgado takes the handoff. Carrasco around the right side, 30, and a bounce of 35 yard line. Short gain on the play. Stop the clock as he goes out of bounds. Picked up eight on the run. Isaac Covington comes back in the game. Carrasco comes out. But Covington will be in the backfield now with Jason Delgado. Here comes number 10, Delgado back into the offensive uh, huddle. Second down, 14. Union needs to get to their own, up to the 47 for first down here. Delgado Covington breaks a tackle, 
Makes another one, drives forward, and gets to near the 45-yard line. Maybe a third and short now. Good run by Covington. Makes it third and short. 11 yards on the pickup play there. Tackle there by number 11, Vincent Mitchell. Love to get Covington's stats in a moment here. Look at that. Covington now, coach 162 yards. Rushing on 15 attempts, averaging 10.8 yards every time he touches the football. Longest run at 60 yard scoring run. We'll give it, let's give it to him again now because he only needs two. <laughs> yeah, I know, boy, Isaac Covington is doing a great job here. As again, as he did last week in Edmond Santa Fe, both offensively and defensively. Delgado needing a couple on third down to stop the action. Coach Frederick wants to talk about this one for a moment. It's third down and two. We'll take a break here with the Red Hawks and the Bulldogs tied at 21 at Ed Memorial. Watching Red Hawks football, this is the Union Sports Network. What it is. Red Hawks at their own 45 yard line. In a couple yards to get this get this drive going. And the rival man coming up the middle of the goals. First down for the Red Hawks. Nice push up the middle there. Dominic Alvarez, the left guard. Harlem Henry, the center. Caleb Limke. Number 36, Logan Lessett. Initially on the tackle. Four yards on the play and a first down for Tulsa Union. Delgado with uh, Isaac Covington in the backfield. Sends two receivers, Nancy and Boyd, out to the left side. Through to this near side. Uh, fate to Covington, throws down the middle. Got him in wide open at the 25 20. Caught at the 15, the 10, the 5, and in a touchdown. Tulsa Union, who else? Gino Boyd, the outstanding senior wide receiver, six foot, 175 pounds. Tulsa Union strikes again on the big play. See a flag anywhere? Nope. Let's celebrate. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. All right. Finally. 51 yard touchdown pass play from the freshman, Casey Delgado, to Gino Boyd. Touchdown. Extra point attempt now. Kick is up and good by Jake Scarborough. And Union takes a 28-21 lead with 6.34 left. Play a little defense here. Yeah, we're going to have to play a little defense here. Yeah. 51 yard. Isaac Cumberland, what an impact he's had though, Coach. 16 carries, 166 yards. Let's look at the passing. Casey Delgado, 11 of 17, 143 yards. One touchdown, one interception. Receiving. Let's see, Richard, move that up a little bit for us. Gino Boyd now, three catches, 66 yards. One touchdown, that one just a moment ago, 51 yards, averaging 22 yards a catch for the senior receiver. Remember, you uh, Red Hawk fans need to turn out next Thursday night. It's the final home game of the regular season, senior night as we'll finish the Edmund Trio. We're beating Santa Fe, we're trying to beat Edmund Memorial, then we have Edmund North coming in next Thursday. Remember, Thursday night game, November 2nd, kickoff at 7.05, with Tulsa Union hosting Edmund North. Picking up for the Red Hawks is number 84, Jacoby Johnson. Emerson Kiker kicks it off into the end zone, touchback for Memorial. 
the ball will be brought out. So the Bulldogs have it at their own 20 yard line, 80 yards away in time. 6.34 left to play in the contest here. Yeah, plenty of time, that's for sure. We need to make a stop. I mean, that's a, kind of a duh. Edmund Memorial finishes their season out uh, next week. They'll be playing at Mustang on November 3rd. World Series update, it's 5-3 Arizona. Top of the third, leading Texas. McComb takes a snap, back to pass, being rushed. Still trying to get away through into the end zone. On the run, just gonna throw it out of bounds. We have yet to sack him tonight, Coach. We've harassed him some. Yes. Rushed him out of the pocket. We've not been able to get to this guy. This has some quick. David McComb, good looking junior quarterback for the Bulldogs here. So second and 10, did stop the clock, of course, the incomplete pass, 6.24 left to go, 28-21, Tulsa Union. McComb, Booker in the backfield with him. Here's the Booker, Booker makes a move, and tank. knocked down the 22 yard line, oh, big hit, scramble there, nicely done. Big job by the defense. <laughs> third and eight now. Pick up two on the play. It's another third and long here for the Bulldogs. Dave McCone's been a wizard of this thing. He's made some big conversions on third down. We got we to gotta keep him in the pocket on this play. They need to get just across their own 30-yard line for a first down here. McComb in the shotgun by himself, man in motion. McComb rolls to the right side. On the run. Going to keep the football. He's in trouble. He's going to be knocked out of bounds, and out it goes, and it's going to be fourth down. And I think they got to punt it away, don't they, Coach? Too much time here, too deep. Oh, yeah. They're bringing yep. on their punt team. Here comes the punt team with Ty Ackerman, their, uh, Ackerman, excuse me, their punter. Ackerman they might there. have... With the punt team, they might have some fake or something that'll throw us off, but I don't think so. I think they're going to punt it away. Number five, Devin Jordan is back. Single safety for Tulsa Union inside his own 45-yard line. There's the punt from Ackerman. Short kick. they let it bounce, and it'll die right at the 46-yard line. Union takes over first and 10 at that point with a seven-point lead and 5.21 left on the clock. 31 yards on the punt. See big 74 there, Harlem Henry. Well, they're glad to have him back at center, aren't they, Coach? Yes. They missed him 6'3", 305 pounds senior. I don't know what he eats, but he does it well. Looking good here. 71, Mendenhall's out there, Limke, along with Alvarez, Jones. Delgado, waiting for the snap. Hands to Covington, makes a good stop move, bounces by one man, breaks a tackle, 50. Still on his feet, 45, trying to drag him down, breaks another tackle to 40, 35 yard line, 30, breaks another tackle, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Isaac Covington. What a run, are you kidding me? He broke, what, three, four tackles, three four 53 tackles. yards, touchdown, and that should seal it. The Union pom-pom squad, they're cheering and jumping and bouncing around. And, oh, my poor granddaughter, she's crying, and her little bow's all messed up probably. Oh, man. Broken heart. That's the way it goes. <laughs> what a great run by Isaac Covington. I guess not much doubt who the player of the game is again. No. Actually, it's Lauren Olivia. Outstanding pom-pom performance at halftime. Kick is up. The kick is good, and it is. Tulsa Union now, 35. Edmund Memorial, 21. 5.07 left to play. Oh, we can celebrate, Coach, you think? Yeah, I, I think so. Well, I'm not celebrating yet. 
Boy, what a run. That was a. That was, I mean, how many tackles did he break? Oh. Three or four at least. And Joe, that's a highlight film, isn't it? Oh. Player of the year right there, Andy says, our TV director here, our Union Football Network. What a great run. I mean, honestly, guys, they had three, four guys. Yes. yes. Give, give us a replay, Andy. Well, that's at home, isn't it? <laughs> we have great replays on our home telecast, and they're too cheap to let them have stuff on the road, so we're going to talk to Emily about that. All right. All right, Andy. <laughs> he does it better than anybody in the state. Everybody's doing these streaming things now, but Andy Irwin has set the standard. He and his... Uh, Union football crew. So once again, Kiker ready to kick off. Out it comes, 10, 15, 20, 25 yard line. Down he goes there. Tackle there was Cyrus Burris. Leave on the play. Second by number 34, Cyrus Burris. Be interesting to see. Well, I'm sure they're going to have to try to score it in a hurry, but interesting to see what kind of plays they're going to come up with here. Here comes McComb out. His Sarah Padula, their outstanding split receiver, goes wide to the right side. He has three receivers to the left side, two to the right side. They're in their passing formation now. McComb down by 14. 5.02 left. Takes the snap. Pressure's on. They got him finally inside the 10-yard line. Throw him down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Trey Barnes, number 9. Once again with a big play. Great job, Trey. Also back there was our big guy, 99 again was back there. Yeah, Davian Pickens. Damn. Heck of a job there. Finally, all night, we said Isaiah Forbes had a push on there. Might loss of 13. Again, Coach, the first sack we've got of the night. Yep. Clock counting under four and a half minutes left now. Second down and uh, almost a jinx. Look at this. Wow. Second, 22. Back to McComb, big rush to the end zone, down he goes. Safety, Safety. for Tulsa Union. Who got in there, coach? I can't, uh, 33. De Demar Neely. Damar Neely, excuse me, I pronounced it wrong. Neely with the safety. Union gets to 37, and they get a free kick. Royal does have to kick it back to the Red Hawks. We talked all night about not getting a sack, and now we get the two we need the most. One for loss of 13, and one even better for points. Safety gives him a chance now to get the football and a short kick. Four fourteen left in this one. Remember, don't forget next week the game is Thursday night, senior night. Edmund North comes to town on November the second. Seven oh five kickoff. So Isaac coming in an amazing fifty three yard run. Then the defense comes up with a safety thirty seven to twenty one now in favor of Union. In the second week in a row, coach we. Had a real battle over this side of the state with Edmund Santa Fe. It was about 10 10 at the half. Yeah. Outscored him 20 0 in the second half. It was even tighter in this one. The second half was tight. And then all of a sudden, Union got things going and uh, now pulled away here for this 37 21 lead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to applaud the Union coaching staff because they kept their, they must have kept their calm. Well, I don't know how calm they were at halftime <laughs> talking to them, but they, they, kept it, they kept their game plan going and they just did what what we do and the defense rose to the occasion and then the offense rose to the occasion. It's just been a great second half. That's Two weeks right, in yeah. a row. Devin Jordan, number five, is back there deep for Tulsa Union. He's going to punt with a free kick. Short punt. Yeah. Jordan finally picks it up and bounces all around a couple of Red Hawks and 
Jordan really got it quickly and picked it up. Been a big week for Devin Jordan. Just uh, made his go to the University of Oklahoma to play his college football. On the return for the Red Hawks, number five, Soren Eagle, Rice. So the Red Hawk offense trying to come out here and coaches run this football, eat up this clock. That's Two right. Bounds by number eight, Gage Massey. Balls at the 47 yard line, first and 10, Red Hawks. Again, Isaac Covington now, coach. 17 carries, 219 yards rushing, four touchdowns. Mm. Wow. That's a career for some people. What a performance. Great job. 12.9 yard average. And he's come back in for more. Coming in 21. Comes to the backfield. Off, sets off to the right side of Delgado. In motion comes McQueen. And there's a hand up to kind of flag. Going to stop it before right, it gets going McQueen. here. Full third called on the red off. It's a five yard penalty. Repeat that. Procedure penalty will cost him five yards. Worse than that, stops the clock at 4.10 to play. Come on, wind this clock, baby. There, God, waits for the snap. <laughs> it's to Covington. Big hole, 50, across the midfield to the Royal 49. Are they going for a personal record for him? What, what, what the idea is? Vincent Mitchell, number 11, with the with the play. Yeah, he got seven yards on that carry. Yeah, that's right. He's now 18 carries to 227 yards. And there's a stop at your play. We'll take a break with him, too, here on the Red Hawks. Football Union Sports Network with, again, Tulsa Union finally pulling away from Ed Memorial 37-21 down to the last few minutes and 50 seconds. Their final road game of the regular season right back. No time out for injury there. A Memorial player was shaken up on the near sideline here. He's off and okay, hopefully. And Delgado now with a second down and seven. The motion there was Brandon McQueen, number two. Turns hands off this is Carrasco. Carrasco breaks the tackle, 50 45. First down, dies to the 40 yard line. First down for Tulsa Union. As they move the sticks. And place the football at the Bulldog 41 yard line. Nine yard pickup there. For Carrasco. He's had a pretty good. Uh, Dustin Neff. Yeah. Looks like he was the one that made the tackle, number 44. The clock keeps running down to the three minute mark left in this one. Delgado ran in motion. That's Gino Boyd. Handoff goes to. Roscoe and gets a short gain across the 40 yard line. Gain of two. For the junior running back, Boston Crosco, number six. And again, number 44, Destin Neff with the tackle. I haven't mentioned this kid's name. Uh, Will Bajima should be a familiar name for Oklahoma State Cowboy fans, especially. His dad was a great one for Oklahoma State and won a Super Bowl ring playing for the Baltimore Ravens. That's his son, Will Bajima, number 48 out there. A Sophomore defensive tackle. 6'1", 200 pounds. You need to feed that kid a defensive tackle. Delgado takes a snap, throws quick out to the left side, caught there at the 40, 35. Will be pushed out of bounds or close to it there. And again, number two, Brandon McQueen. Again, just four on the play. Good defensive stop there for the Bulldogs. 
That sets up a third down. Fort did not go out of bounds. The clock is still running. It's a good thing down near the two minute mark now. Third and four from the Memorial 35 yard line. And the clock's still running, so we don't have a whole lot more play. If we can make this first down, we can just run it out easily. Delgado, the freshman quarterback, waiting for the snap on a third down and four. Keeps it himself. Has the first down, 30, has more, 25, 20, run out of bounds, the 20 yard line. We have first down for Union, leading 37 21, 138 left to play. And because he's a freshman, I'll let it go, but he needs to keep it in bounds. <laughs> That's right, I thought about that, coach. 14 yard gain of the first down. Yeah. He's a freshman. Yeah. Good, good, good job, coach. Tom Stock and coaching over here. Staying I've coached a couple games. Yeah, keep the clock going here. Yeah. Okay. Delgado comes back in the huddle here. Let's get this game over with. I got a whole family in here. We have a unit ready to go. My grandson, Lincoln, just came up here. and Where the snap here? I know. We have a bounce there. No room at all there. Only for the Red Hawks. Clock a minute 29 left to play. It was a struggle here for a while. Edmund, of course, scored first. Tulsa came back. Uh, Union scored, missed the extra point. Isaac Covington had a 50, 43 yard run to put him back in front. Nick Booker then scored for Royal. Isaac Covington had a 60 yard run. And the one that capped another 53 yard run. And then had a Safety in the end zone to wrap things up here. Tulsa Union will go to 8-1. It'll be a perfect 6-0, and, oh, and they are for the 33rd time in school history. The district champions in 6A football on the eastern side of the state. Oh, big pop there. Breaking one tackle, now another. Going across the 20-yard line is uh, Boston Carrasco, and we're down to 40 seconds. The clock running here. Trip Roberts. So it's the play. We're two for two with Edmund. We defeated Edmund Santa Fe last week. Now come back this week to beat Edmund Moyle and now waiting for Edmund North to come to Tulsa this next Thursday night. Be then November 2nd, Tuttle Stadium, senior night to salute these senior Red Hawks. 7.05 kickoff. Then a week by and then into the playoffs of the quarterfinals. This should be the last snap yeah. of the game. Your favorite formation, right, Coach? If I'm, on, yeah, if I'm. The head coach and we're winning. Victory formation right there. Delgado takes the knee. This one is over. Five seconds, four seconds, and the clock is counted down. It's all zeros, and Edmund Memorial put up a heck of a battle here. But on their senior night, it's Tulsa Union winning 37-21. to Now for Tom Stockton, Jeff Johns, Richard Johns, and Andy Irwin, a whole crew, including uh, Lincoln Avery Crooks, uh, Emily Crooks, uh, my granddaughter, Lauren Olivia Crooks, the outstanding pom-pom girl. My mother-in-law, Dora Smith, is here. My wife is here, Becky Becky Smith Lincoln, after uh, her heart surgery. Anybody else we can thank here? Did a good job, I guess. Thank you, guys. Again, great night. Great victory for Union Red Hawks. And to my poor daughter, who was a red skin, she has to suffer now. And console our daughter, the pom-pom girl. She didn't win, but she looked really cute tonight. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. Again, great win for Tulsa Union, 37-21. Chris Lincoln saying so long. Have a great weekend.